Do you want to pursue charges on her? Oh, absolutely, yeah. That is insane. I am glad that, that you guys are on this. I appreciate yeah, yeah. it. You don't have anything that will hurt or harm me or anything like that, right? God, dog, this doesn't even look like this guy. <laughs> this is the female? Yes. 96? 86. Okay. How old are you, Evelyn? How old are you? Huh? How old are you? I'm You're how old? 30 what? 34. <laughs> His name and connected to this business. Why are you saying you're this person when you're this person? Do you want to finish your Gatorade before we go? You need to sit tight. That's Sir, how are, are you related? That's my son. This is your son? Mm -hmm. Okay. You work here in uh, New Mexico? I, no, I, I travel. Like, you travel? Yeah. I just, you know, go selling house by house or if they need me, like, assistance in the solar panel or there. Okay. How often do you come to the bank here? Not often. This is my first time here, actually. It's your first time here? Yeah. Okay. Sit tight for me, okay? Mm -hmm. You're already there. Hey, guys. How are you? And I was just going to call in this report this morning. about this car try, trying to cash a fake check right. as I pull up there in the uh, there in the bank lot right there where the drive through right so as I come out the lady runs out she says it's that white car you might want to block it in well, I'm not gonna block it in so I get behind it as I call out its plate she starts moving she starts driving I light her up she pulls over here very nervous girl she left with all her stuff hmm. she don't have any she took she just took off she's very nervous when she's talking She's claiming she's here. She's just waiting for them to cash her check. Uh, she works for some solar company. The bank people walked over here. They handed me these documents. Handed me all this stuff. They said, this is a fake check, bro. Uh, I don't think this is her name, bro, either. Yeah. It doesn't really look like her. I ran, I ran that and in my they didn't come back to me either. She's getting here with her older son. Looks like an adult son. Uh, but the bank walks us over, says this is a fake check. This is the ID she provided. Um, and that they've had a history of this, this group sending these in. With different names, of course. Well, let's come back to uh, Jose or Jake. <laughs> this one, an eligible Texas DLC, Charles. So this might not even be her, bro. Yeah, 39. The, the only thing that consistent with all these is that that car? That car has been he's coming in. It. So I'm around the car yet. Yeah, um, those are the checks. The other ones that she's done. These are the other ones that somebody else has done. Not necessarily her because they couldn't really get a look of her face. Yeah, but they have the checks that have come through. Yeah, those are the amounts. And this one again for six ninety. And there's no business. It's American Solar Group. They say that. That business does. They don't have that business. They have. They said this. Is a, this check doesn't even. It's not even. Let me check it real quick. Go ahead. Wow. 
American Solar Group. Solar. Thank you for calling American Solar Group. Yes, uh, this is Officer Mendez with the Las Cruces Police Department. How are you doing today? I'm doing good and yourself? I'm doing well. I'm I'm curious. Somebody's trying to cash a check here by the name of Evelyn Delgado. And she's over here at one of our Las Cruces banks. And we were just wondering if you are familiar with her or or if you guys had some payroll checks stolen recently or anything like that. The check is made mm -hmm. out the check is made out to an Evelyn Delgado for six hundred and ninety dollars. You know what? Hold on. I'm sorry. What was your name again, sir? Officer Mendez. Let me go ahead and transfer you to Mr. Um, Hernandez, okay? Okay. The business is legit, but... No record on file for her social either. This is concealing. Is this a social right here? That first number? That's a phone number. This one? This is making up stuff. Yeah. I'm wondering... I'm wondering if these guys got some payroll checks stolen. It looks like they forged it. Yes, this is Mark. Mark, this is Officer Mendez of the Las Cruz Police Department. How are you doing today? I am good, Officer. How are you? I'm doing well. Hey, uh, we are dealing with this lady who was trying to cash a check, and it's one of your checks. It says American Solar Group on it with your address on yep. George Dieter in El Paso. Uh, she's trying to cash it for $690. Yep. Do you know a Evelyn Delgado? Absolutely not. No? In fact, we need to collect as much data or possibly even detain her. There's been a lot of fraud over the last week uh, happening in Las Cruces, Deming, Anthony... Okay. Quite a bit all over uh, the state of New Mexico, okay. and uh, the bankers are aware of it. Okay, um, my bank is first, uh, first uh, New Mexico. First New Mexico. Yeah. Yes, and so that is absolutely not a valid check. Okay, and uh, my, are you wanting to? Since you're the main guy, it looks like your signature is at the bottom. Do you want to pursue charges on her? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Okay. Five seven. And your name is Mark. Hernandez? Hernandez, I'm the owner of the company. Yes, I'm the owner of the company. We have them stopped right now. Uh, we're going to make a couple phone calls, and more than likely, a detective is going to be contacting you shortly. Are you currently in El Paso right now? No, I'm actually in Albuquerque right now. Oh, you're in Albuquerque. All right, yeah, just do me a mm -hmm. favor. This is a cell phone, right? Yes, this is my cell phone. Okay, uh, we're probably going to call you back here. Give us a little bit. Give us like 15, 30 minutes. Uh, more than likely, the number is going to come from a, from a block number or a number that says all zeros. So if it's that, it's going to be us, okay. okay? Okay, and an investigator no, will more than likely officer. be calling you, okay? Thank and, you, sir. I appreciate and it. I'm sorry, real quick. Have you ever had an Evelyn Delgado work for you or anything like that? Never. I'm just curious to know, no how, how, did they, how did they get a hold of these checks? Did, they, did you have so, a theft what, of... What so I have a uh, good question. I have a uh, payroll company that we do with uh, our payroll through ADP. Uh -huh. And ADP, um, somehow they have replicated the ADP checks. Uh -huh. Not exactly the same. You can actually tell the difference between the two, but it's that person, another person named Destiny Rodriguez. I have all the data. If you call my banker. Yeah, you know what? We uh, have all that information. They came out and walked us, I guess, you, a copy of an affidavit of forgery. And we got payees yeah. of uh, Nicole Beltran. Stephanie Ochoa, Denise Rodriguez, Miguel Angel Rodarte, Robert Mascoro, and then and then three for Destiny Rodriguez, and then we got this one right now with uh, Evelyn. The check is made out for Evelyn Delgado. That is insane. I am glad that, that you guys are on this. I appreciate it. We need to stop. We need to stop this. Okay. Yeah. Well, we have them here. We have her stopped right now. So we're contacting the investigator right now. That's why I wanted to clarify that you do want to pursue charges on her and, and whatever comes up out of oh, this. Oh, absolutely. Yes, okay. we do. All right. Yes, sounds, we do. Absolutely. Sounds good. We're making phone calls right now. We're calling a supervisor to see if we can get an investigator out here, okay? So just hang okay, hang, yes, hang tight. You. Hang tight. And we'll be calling you here shortly, okay? Yes, sir, officer. I appreciate you. Okay. I'll look out for your call. All right. Thank you. You have a good day, Mark. We'll call you back. Thank you. Goodbye. Telling me to call Central. <laughs> I was gonna say, wait a minute, are she, are, you want her to call or did they just put your number out? Who's <laughs> on call today? I'm gonna to need CID out to it. Okay, yeah, have them, uh, have, have one of them call me. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's one. He's on a 21 for you. Thank you. CID has already been notified. Did you call CID? 
Yeah, I was, on the, I was on the phone with him right there. They were there at 10 7. So he's going to call uh, to see if the secondary thing. Frank. Oh, oh, Franco, definitely. He's a, yeah, he's he's a, a financial pro, guy. Yeah, he's a financial <laughs> That's all. That's Because this is what I used to do when I was in CID. All the now financial stuff, that right? That's all I was like, oh, we need to I call this guy. Do. Oh, no, right away. Because I, I was wondering. So, because the water. Detain, yeah, yeah. Detain her we'll detain both of them, actually. Especially since she's not coming out. I'm coming on fire. You don't have any Because everything you're telling me is not coming back on file. Okay? I have my Costco card. Okay. Put your hands behind your back. Do you have any tires? Needles? Anything? Nothing? No? Alright. I'm going to detain you right now. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have an investigator come out and talk to you about this check. About this check that you're doing here. My office office. Okay. 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 Are you sure? Okay. Okay. Hey, Frank. Hey, uh. Why don't you come step over here real quick? Just, uh, we'll go all the way around real quick and then we'll put you inside. Just for now, just that way, uh, you're not. You're not in the cold. Uh, I'm All right. gonna have like, then, my wrist in, or, like, No, right now what's gonna happen is right now we're having a we're having a detective coming out, okay? okay. Because we're getting two different stories. The bank is saying that, that these checks aren't right, so of course we have to go by what the bank tells us. I mean, but it's so my first why, time here. Uh, yeah, I know. know, and that's why that's why we're gonna get somebody out here to just uh, to just uh, they're gonna talk to you. They're gonna talk to the bank. The only reason why you're in handcuffs right now is you're not under arrest right now. You're just detained. The only reason why we put people that are detained in handcuffs is for our safety. Does that make sense? Well, so that's why you're, you're not under arrest right now. And uh, we'll go. The, there's an investigator on his way to come talk to you. Okay. Investigator what? Just a detective to come out because of what we're being told, uh, as far as possibly forgery and stuff like that. And actually, I'm sorry. Can you turn real quick? I don't. You have a phone right here. Let me just pull that out real quick. Oh. I'm just going to put it right on top here, okay? You can take it to the Okay, well, they're going to want to talk to him too. What's his name? Miguel. Miguel? Mm -hmm. And who is he to you? He's my, he's my, he's my cousin, but I've been raising him since I was... Oh, okay, so he he's like... He lost his grandparents, and okay. he lost... Well, his dad, he's in jail, and okay. his mom was... Okay. How old is he? He's 21. 21? Okay, all right. And he doesn't have any weapons or anything on him, No, right? no, no, okay. no. I'm gonna pull him out just have him sit. Yeah, without any cuts for my own. We'll see. Well, sir, can you do me a favor? Can you step out also, please? You don't have anything that'll hurt or harm me or anything like that, right? Can you do me a favor? Can you just put your cell phone right here on top of the car? And then just turn it on for me. Put your hands back here. I'm just gonna check you for weapons, okay? Uh, this is what's this is what's gonna happen, okay? Spread your legs. So this is what's going to happen, okay? Um, we're we're getting word from the bank as far as the uh, as far as the checks are concerned, okay? So with that being said, we got to conduct an investigation, all right? And with that, an investigator is going to come out. He's going to talk to your, I guess, she's kind of like your mom, right? So she's going to talk to she's going to talk he's going to talk to him, and they're also going to they may ask you some questions, okay? I'm not going to put any cuffs on. Normally, what we do. Is uh, we when we detain people, we put handcuffs on. Do you actually have ID on you by chance? Could I see that? Because also, another thing that's coming about what's her name? Huh? What's her name? Evelyn, Evelyn Delgado. Do you know her date of birth by chance? Uh, sorry, sir. Oh, that's all right. all right. And then you're not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not putting cuffs on you because uh. What we want to do is we just want to separate people from the car. Does that make sense? Because the investigator is probably going to want to talk to you too. Okay. Okay? So just, instead of waiting out in the cold, you could sit right here in the car and stay warm, okay? You could just have a seat. Can I have my phone? Uh, well, actually, we're going to hold on to that until the investigator gets here. It's going to be right there on top of your car, okay? okay. Where you could still so see could, it. That's so I could tell my wife what's going on? Well, we're, it shouldn't take too long. They're on okay. their way right now, okay? God, dog, this doesn't even look like this guy. 
Yeah. It's probably fake because she she finally came up. She was a yeah. different oh, uh, social. I'm yeah, gonna try. Look at this. Seventy-seven center. You copy yourself. Oh, and then uh, I put her cell phone right there on top of the car so it won't drive oh. off. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you know what? Let me put it in your unit. Alright. Can you copy the uh, VIN? It's going to be on a 2017 Chevy Impala. 2 George 1 105 Sam Adam 1 Henry 9 128300. We're in the van. Oh, and our like this thing's called 72. Probably. Or pro you know what? I still, bet you probably. Still yeah, I was right gonna one. say. You know what, 7? Well, you got the fingerprint thing on yours, right? I don't. Oh, I heard 700 key up on a traffic stop. So he's out and about if we need him. Uh, Nathan might have him. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right, he does. He's not so nervous. I don't think he, he probably doesn't know what's going on. He probably just came along for a ride. You think it's really her son? No, she says it's like, it's that's like her cousin whom she's raised like a son. So, because something about her mom passing or something like that. So yeah, we'll see. Good thing that guy answered, thank God. I didn't think that business was going to be legit because that address, I was like, They Geez. made it sound like it wasn't, but yeah. uh, that's good to know. Good. Miguel? Oh, yeah. Good. This guy, oh, you know what? I think this is one of the names of the guys that's passing checks. He passed, he passed one on the 8th. Oh, his name's on there? Yeah, his, I was like, I thought I, that last name sounds familiar. Oh, shit. Uh, this guy's just a Peter customer. Because he doesn't know we have the paperwork. Yeah, he's, he's like, whatever. I thought 849 was going to back you up. That's why I was like, all right. When, they, when I heard this call come down, I was like, oh. And then I fucking I looked. Right when I looked, that's when you asked for a second, and I was like, oh, he's on chow. It's like, shit. Yeah, I didn't know they were still on scene. I literally pulled up to the front door, and she's just like, oh, no, they're in the driveway, in the drive through I was like, okay. Well, you, may, you may want to go block them in. I'm like, yeah, uh, yeah. I'll go I wish you could, yeah. <laughs> back, back when we first started, yeah. <laughs> Get out car. We didn't even give him a we were just yank him out of the car. So is this one yours now? Yeah, I just have, it hasn't been remembered. So I saw they were giving, Carmen got a new unit. I was like, what? I think that guy's still driving chargers and he was yeah. a new car. Is Frank still? Somebody in a, in a pound dick. 
want to say. The same frequent? Uh, was he in the office or was he coming? I, I thought I heard him go. He was uh, like coming from just finished training or something like that. Oh, I don't know. It sounded like he was in his email already. Yeah, I think he had just finished, so he's probably already. He probably was driving back to the office. He just kept driving. Who was on the ten seven? Who's David? Well, okay, who's uncle? He says, "Oh, it's David, but he's at a ten seven. Adina? What's lack of distance? Not David. Yeah, I think it is with the old S A three seven. David Medina? I think that's it, no? <laughs> I see a lot of people's first names like that. I know, right? But, uh... I was like, man, that guy... That guy felt must have... I hope, I hope he knocked... I hope that old guy... I hope he was knocked unconscious when he drowned. Because that would suck to drown. I think that's the worst. That and being burned. Alive, yeah. yeah at least be unconscious. If you're gonna go. Yeah, so the guy was saying that on the phone, he was saying that so the the AD they use the same system that Walmart uses, the ADP app. So for whatever reason they were able to get a hold of uh, of how their checks look and they were able to mass produce them. Oh, and so that's how they were they, so either they got hacked or, or they don't really know how they got a hold of it, but they said that yeah, it, it looks very similar to ours. But with I think the water, like on that one, I don't think it has a watermark on it, which that makes it different. But it's pretty much the same. That's that they just find the right size paper, which you could get like at Office Max for the for the check printing, and just print them out from a printer. Well, that's usually what they do. They just get it and then download it into a system and then they just because the, the they got the signatures and everything already automatically duplicate. It sucks because usually the businesses don't find out till well after the fact and this guy's been hit so much that he already yeah, knows like oh, I, yeah, I already which is a good thing because had it had he had this been like the first one that they've done, he probably would oh I got it that it would have taken longer because he would have had to have done some research. What check number do you have? What what uh? What's the name? He says that he doesn't know anybody by that. And, and uh, I read him the, the names that they gave us, and he was like, "Yeah, was, you got that list." He has. I this lady's even a citizen. You're probably from all that area in Kenya Teal area, because the car comes back to Vinton, which is right near Kenya Teal. Because it's Kenya Teal, Vinton, and then uh, and then West El Paso. Yeah, uh, that's where social social and it's gonna give them one. And she came back and I said, it's not coming back. And she's like she tried to tell me she didn't have one. And then I was like, so are you even a citizen? She says, yes I am. Okay, here's my social. That's still not it. You know what I'm wondering? I'm wondering if she's any of these other names. I think they're all fake. Probably, well. I I wonder, look at that picture in the back. Did you see that picture? Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's a Carmen. <laughs> yeah, it does. That looks more like her than anything. This is the only picture they gave you, right? Of that? You know what, let me go get the bank people information, bro. All uh, right. Do you want the window down a little bit? Okay. Do you, is it all right if the window's down a little bit? Do you want some air in or? Okay, I can lower it more if you want. I'm sorry? I'm sorry. Okay. Issuing and transferring? Making and altering? What's going on, brother? I got the window open, just a little crack for this guy, so they could both they both have the windows open. Okay. So, 677 is the main guy. He went to go get the information from the bank. The case number is 139 499. What time did he come in? Oh, shoot. I don't know, just barely. 
maybe a little bit before 11. It's uh, right there first. Yeah, they called it in. They called it in and they provided this to 677 because he wasn't sure. They did say that she was in the drive through uh -huh. but he wasn't sure if she was still here when he got here. So he pulled up to go inside and that's when they pointed out, hey, the car's taking off. Oh, okay. So then he pulled up and then they, they walked over here and gave him this stuff. So. Uh, what did it come in as? What the call? Forgery 1070. What was that information? That they've been getting hit a lot with these uh, with uh, these checks. That it's a large group of people that are continually coming in and uh, doing these uh, forge checks, and uh, that they actually had them there trying to negotiate one of the checks. Mark so, Hernandez is the, uh, the owner. Yeah, so I called, I looked it up, and I called this guy. I got his phone number. He's up in Albuquerque. Okay. So this guy says that, I guess, there exactly. he already filed, yeah, he already filed this. These are all past checks that have already gone through his business. Okay. And have been paid out to these people. Yeah. So this is the first time that it's her. Yeah. So I asked him, like, do you have an Evelyn Delgado working yeah. for you? And he's like, no, I don't. You know, and he told me, I, I guess what the to story that he told me was that they have the same s system as Walmart does, the ADP system, and somehow they were able to get a hold of these checks and start printing them out. He says that they look like his, but they're not because they look different. I'm assuming the watermark is different on this because I don't even see one. Okay. So... She comes back not on file. She has a paper ID, but she's been provided everything that she's provided. Uh, Mark has not come back on file. The guy that I have is the passenger, mm -hmm. so I bring him out, thinking that you're probably gonna want to talk to him too, right? So I'm talking to him, and then I ask him like, "All right, well, you don't have any weapons." And I go, "Look, I'm not gonna put you in custody. I'm just gonna have you sit down because the detective's gonna <coughs> want to talk to you." Mm -hmm. And I ask I, before I sit him down, I go, "Hey, do you have an ID on you?" He goes, "Yeah." Uh, so he provides me the ID. I look at it and I run it. And I noticed the last name, and it's one of the names right here. He, he negotiated a check on the 8th. Okay. Oh, so, and these are the affidavits and all this stuff that they've provided. I, they've only been provided, they only provided one photo. Uh, it's a possibility that the license, because it's a paper license, it's a hers. possibility, yeah, hers, is a possibility that that's also forged also. So, that check was made out to her. I asked the dude, do you want to pursue charges on these guys? Because we have one. We have them. Well, at, at the time, we thought just the female. And he's all, yeah, that's right. So I got his 49. I told him that you'd be contacting him. Where was this uh, one from him passed? I believe they've all been passed here. Here? Yes. Cause so that came from there, Frank. Uh, they've had a series of them from here and in gaming. There's a total of $5,000. Uh, like I said, under different names. Uh, this is their copies. They would like copies of this back before we leave. Okay. There's his. Okay. Good. So, she's, she's very good. I still don't know who she is. She hasn't, she's giving me the same name, but different date of birth, different socials. So she's got a fake ID maybe? Yeah, she yeah. has this. And this is the ID that he used to run that check. And that number comes back to a guy, uh, of Texas. Oh, yeah. So you got this as a uh, forgery 1070? Yes. So when I pull up, I pull up to the bank and the lady meets me outside and she points at this car and it's in the drive-thru. So I went to get behind it. As I got behind it, they drive off and I light them up and they stop right here. She's nervous as heck all the time. She left, with all her, she left all this stuff at the bank, her ID, everything. They brought it to me. Uh, the ID or the yeah, the check. This, right. this, 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 the only thing they know that's consistent with these names is that car. Okay. Car is that's what Julie told you? Yes. They've never really seen the girl's face because her window's up. Okay. Um, and so today she drives up, passes the check. They give that check. Uh, They're already alerted with these checks yeah. already, so they, they called us. Okay. All right. All right. What time does this thing come in? 
Uh, probably about level, level, level five, I want to say. No, oh, look, before that. Let me get the... It's a Chevy Impala. So, for Central on two. 1040, right? I think so. What are the case and times for this? So this guy's the front seat passenger? Yes. They're the only two in the car. Did he say anything? Yeah, the case number right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sergio's talked to him. I haven't talked to him at all. Yeah, 1037. So this guy really didn't say much other than the only thing that we were trying to figure out is her identity. So that was, those are the only questions that I asked her. He, he, uh, he did provide the November date of birth for himself or for, for her. Yeah, he provided that date of birth for her. And then that's pretty much all I asked him. At first, when I was talking to Mark, I go, I don't even know if this guy even knows what's going on because he seems really calm and yeah. Rare. And then, uh, I look at the ID and I, I'm like, oh, that guy kind of doesn't even look like this guy. It looks like an old ID. And we were thinking, like, it's probably fake also. So we ran it. And when they said the name, I was like, I read that name somewhere just now. And sure enough, it was right here on the paper. So this ID so I was is like, coming, yeah. coming back to him. Yeah. Okay. And the car comes back to an address off of Vinton okay. in Texas. Okay. Just outside of... Passes this and this. Signed and everything in the back. The ID is not coming back. Okay. And when I was bringing her to the car, she was like, I was explaining to her, hey, look, you know what? We're just going to square it away. The bank said something. You know, we're going to have a, just an investigator come talk to you. And uh, yeah, I she was all like, like, because she even made it sound like, yeah, like, yeah, I know it. Mark, or yeah, Mark she tried to say her, her boss was around. Yeah, Mark, my boss. That's what she said? Yeah. My boss is around. Okay. And, and and when before we made contact with her to detain her, I spoke with Mark and I go, do you even know this lady? He's like, no, I never met her before. Mark's in Albuquerque. Uh, um, what's Mark's number that you got a hold of him at? His cell is going to be 915. Tom, you'll be probably calling him from a block number or something. The nines are different. The nines are a little different. You can get 81 with the right I don't know. Look at the threes. It could be the same female. It's just riding different. Yeah, because look at the E's. Well, the fact that she... Christopher writes all the first names and then kind of scribbles the last names. Yeah, this right here is... The that's, ID. yeah, that's the one that they use for the three that were run. Okay. Let me, uh, tell you what, we're going to make a, probably a bigger case out of this than just this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. So, let me go to the bank and talk to them about these other ones, too. Okay. That's up. <laughs> this is the female? Yes. Okay. Hi, how are you? Are you warm enough Hello. in here? Yes. Okay. okay. All righty. Um, my name is Detective Torres. They call me out here to see what's going on with, uh, I guess there's maybe a question uh, about... Yeah, I know. So, I've been waiting for my boss or what this guy to show up. Uh, yeah, who are you, are you talking to? Bullshit. I'm sorry, man. Okay. I get you. Okay. So um, I'm going to look into it. Uh, just real quick, uh, what is your name? Evelyn Delgado. Okay. What's your name? 96. 86. Okay. How old are you, Evelyn? How old are you? How old are you? I'm You're how old? 30 what? 34. 34? <laughs> Uh, if I need to get a hold of you later after we're all done, what's the phone number to get a hold of you? The uh, gentleman that with, was with you, do you oh, who is he? He's my cousin. I've been, I raised him. You he raised lost him? His, his, he lost his grandparents and stuff, so I oh, so took care of him. He's, okay. What's his name? Miguel Angel Torres. Okay. And he lives with you? You raised him, you said? No, he doesn't live with me anymore, but he's, you know, I still take care of him. He's still my baby. Okay. <laughs>
I've been taking him since he was 13, 14. Gotcha. And then this car, who does that belong to? That belongs to Jose Flausto. Okay. Okay. What's your car? Socorro, Texas. 799-27. 79927. That's in Socorro, Texas? Yes, Okay. Socorro is way out there on the east side, right? Yes. Like by yes, Lake Ro Lake Valley or something yes, like that? Yes, and that's why I'm mad because I, like, I have no gas and I'm over here and wasting my time and all this bullshit. Okay. And um, supposedly, because I, I called them like, because... What's that? I got that check in my house, right? Yeah. And I called them. I'm like, hey, uh, where can I go to cash the check? Because I only have a paper ID. Okay. Because they stole my wallet. And they like, well, go to a bank. I'm going to be over here in Las Cruces. Okay. So your paper ID? Yeah, no paper ID. Okay. So your paper ID is? Okay. Yeah, that's the paper ID that I got. I mean, Okay, give me a little bit. It's, just be patient with me. Stay warm if you need anything or you're, whatever. Just tell this officer. Um, okay. We'll see what we can do. Oh, hold on just a second. Would you say that car belongs to the code one? I don't know. All I heard was code one suspect when I turned it over. Code one suspect. Service of pit. Stand by for location. We have the vehicle stop. Stand by for location. All I had with him was Dasso units. <laughs> Code one. How'd they come up on that? Man? Uh, it, was a, it was something Dasso was working. I guess oh. anything that helped us open up. Oh, that one from earlier, right? Is that when the they gave out the probably the male, the female. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, how are you, man? What's your name, man? Miguel Rodarte. Miguel Rodarte. Uh, where do you live at, man? El Paso. El Paso, Texas. Uh, what's your address? Uh, okay. And how about a good phone number? Is that uh, Canotillo, Socorro? Where is that? No, El Paso, Texas. Seven nine nine one two. Okay. A good phone number. Yeah, I have to get a hold of you later. Nine one five. Uh huh. Okay. Real quick, the lady that you're with, who is she to you? She's like, uh, I would say, like I grew up with her, like my mom. Kinda. Like your mom, kind of? Yeah. Okay. And um, where do you, you don't live with her though, right? No, I live with my wife and my children. You live with your wife and kids? Okay. And your wife and kids are home right now? Yes, sir. Okay. And how old are you, Miguel? I'm 21. I'm going to be 22 in a couple, a couple of days. Yeah, okay. Week or two. Are things going okay with you and your family? Yes. Yeah? All right, because I know how times are hard right now. They're yeah, kind of tough and I, I, I just lost my job. Yeah. Yeah, but I have a job on January 4th. Okay, so, so do me a favor, man. Uh, just be honest with me. Who is that lady? Huh? Who is she? Who is she? Yeah, who is she? Well, she's like my mom. What is her name? Her real name. Not her fake name, but her real name. Um, be honest with me. Say. You don't want to get involved in dumb stuff, man. What's her name? I don't know say. Huh? Just, you don't, you're telling me she's like your mom, but you don't know? Is that what you're saying? No, like, she, like, you're going to have to discuss that with her. You're going to need to discuss what her name is? Yeah. You do? No, not me, like you, sir. No, I know no, that. I'm asking you, know, you know, because she's your mom. Yes, sir. Right? Or your yeah. mom type. So, yes, sir. you know what this is all about. You know why we're here. You got two cops here. I just want to know her name. Yes, sir, I know. I don't want you to get involved. You got kids in the family. I would like you to think about it, you know? And just be honest with me, because I know she's not what's on her paper. Don't look down, man. Just be be a man, man. Be a man. What's her name? Yeah, I know. I know, sir. I just... I don't know. The car, is that your car or is that somebody else's car? No, that's not my car. Is it her car or somebody else's car? That's her boyfriend's, I think. Her boyfriend's? Do you know yeah. what her boyfriend's name is? Um... Honestly, I don't know. Okay. Do me a favor, okay? I, I'm going to do a little bit of investigating, a little bit of digging, okay? And um, I want you to just think about where you're at right now. I mean, seriously, think about where you're at. Think about what's going on. You're a passenger in this car. 
there's something obviously going wrong. I can already tell you it's fake paper. You know that, I know that, and so I just need to get to the bottom of it. The sooner we get to the truth, the sooner that we can move on and get on with our lives. Okay? So, um, one more time, what's this lady's name? What are my options? I, I'm just asking you, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to the bank and talk to him. If you need more time to think, I'll let you think about it. I just, I don't know. Because either way, like, how, how is this going to end up for me? Uh, it all depends, man. It all depends on you. That's what I'm saying. You got kids? How old are they? Uh, are they little kids? They're little, right? One are they just, under? One, one just, um, he turned four a couple okay. days ago. Right. And then the other one's going to be a year and a month. Okay. So I know your four-year-old, you're already teaching them the difference between right and wrong, and to tell the truth, to yes, be straight, sir. and to be honest. If you're a good dad, that's what you're doing. So you think about the lessons you give to your kids, that's all I'm asking from you is to be honest. Okay. And it's yes, generally things... I, from my experience, things work out better that way. Because then I don't have to hold people and do all that other monkey business. It's just like, like, like you can't blame me, either, you know? Huh? You can't blame me. You I can't blame you. her. Well, if you say she's your mom, but yeah, but she's stiffing this bank out of all this money, man. I don't, I, yeah, that I don't know. Yeah. You know? No, you know, man. You know. Oh, yeah. I'm I can not. prove it. I've got the other checks and everything else that's going on, too. I can get the pictures. I can get probably get you in the car with her. I can. I'll do my work here, man. I'm, I'm pretty decent at what I do. Okay, I know, have a seat, man. Just uh, relax, kick back. I'm gonna come back at you in a little bit. I'm gonna talk to the folks at the bank, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Go ahead and scoot in the, into the vehicle. All right. What's her name? What's her name? I got all kinds of names, and man. I can, huh? I got all kinds of names. I got all kinds of checks. I can. I mean, probably one of them is probably the real her with the fake something else. But what's her name? All right, man. You think about it, okay? Okay, think about it. I'm gonna hit over there, man. Uh, let me take a peek in the car. Hold on a second. Okay. have the real idea in a purse. That's yeah, yeah, that's a weird thing. You know what? Hang, hang tight for just a few. Let me uh, do a little more. Background here. I have a feeling it's going to be very, very good. I have to. The signature as, as was. Nervous as she is. Yeah, the signature was kind of like. I mean, I'm no handwriting expert, but the, the E's and the threes look the same. I'll put in your phone right here, okay? Just so that way we don't forget about it, okay? I'll put it here for now so that way you can see it, and then when I take off driving, I'll probably put it down here so it doesn't slide off. Oh, how much better. <laughs> like George with that. With that, uh. Russian hat. <laughs> Just bottles up the heat. <laughs> that's that. Oh, that's the one. The that's the Costanza one. Costanza. <laughs> I'm wondering which ones. I wonder which ones. They, because all the were all the checks in there, or just the ones all that were kept? I wonder which ones were done in Demi. If I had that called Demi branch, I would think. Right? 
Oh, uh, they might be able to fax. If they have all the sure. checks, they probably fax them over. But I was just wondering if those a different mark on them or something. Or there was, but it was kind of faded with the. Because usually when they run them, they put a date and they have like they have a number uh, attached to them, and usually it's the whatever so branch. You, so would you send this information over there? So they charge since it's a different county. Yeah, because the yeah you, you yeah you could you could still charge the ones here because like let's say they have two over there yeah so they would charge them for two counts of uh, over there either, I, and it depends you know if they're, if they're gonna get her with uh, issuing and transferring or, or make an alter because you can make the argument that she's making and altering them too because her her name is printed on it but if she was handed to it handed it. Either way, you got you got you could charge either way because if, if somebody gave it to her to charge, well, you know right away you're not an employee there. But you, you, this check is made out to you supposedly, you know, so you know that it's not legit because you've never worked there. Hi, Hi. Come on in. thank you. Appreciate it. Yep. Let's go over here to this desk and I'll get you checked in, and then you're gonna go with Julie. Okay, you got it. You said your name is... Do, uh, Detective Frank Torres. Frank? Uh-huh. T-O-R-R-E-S. L-C-P-D. Today's the 15th. We've had a, several others. Um, have you been out of the county much? No. And around anybody that you know of with the COVID? No, I don't think so. Okay. And any symptoms? No. <laughs> I'm, an, I'm an icicle. That's why. <laughs> Can't read you. <laughs> been standing you outside doing? too long. Good. How you doing? I'm having more fun than I could ever imagine. Right on. That's the way to do it. <laughs> okay. Let's go on over here. Okay. Officer Frank Torres. Hi, Mr. Hi Mel. How are you? How are you? Good, good. Go so it looks like we got ourselves a little, a little dilemma here with these guys oh my trying gosh. to figure out who this Did lady you is. Get to who? No, I need to figure out who the female is. But okay, well, I, I kind of figured since it was in, we were told it was a white Chevy Impala uh -huh. with, with a temporary license when they went to Deming because they went to the first thing. So, so tell me how did this begin because you have so many I know. just kind of give me a well, little background what we first learned about it Friday afternoon right before five o'clock between four and five so last Friday last Friday okay our sister bank in Deming had a teller call because we try to help each other's customers mm -hmm. and she said I have um, this lady trying to cash a check is there six hundred dollars in this account Mm -hmm. And so my switchboard receptionist, Paula, who checked you in, she said, yes, the balance is fine, but why do you say you're trying to cash it? Mm -hmm. Because she just felt this weird feeling. Yeah. And so the teller over there made some comment, I don't know, something doesn't seem right. Okay. And so my switchboard person said, well, let me call Mr. Hernandez, who owns the business. Uh -huh. So when he called... She called him. She said, he said, no, I don't know who Destiny Rodriguez is. I didn't sign any check. So it's in the stack of the papers I gave you, if I can give mm -hmm. you those back or whoever has them, um, the copy of the driver's license and the check that Destiny tried to cash. Mm -hmm. And so when So got, that was not successful? No. The, one... the teller stopped and okay. then Jemmy. But, while, but it stopped itself because the person in the car drove off. It was taking so long. Because we were on the phone. We had Mark on the phone. I was talking to the president of the bank over there. And the lady kept buzzing in. And they kept saying, we'll be with you, we'll be with you. And okay. so she drove off with the original driver's license in the bank. She just drove off. Okay. So that put us aware, let's look at the account. Mm -hmm. So then the owner, Mark Hernandez, went through the account and said, no, this check isn't mine, this check isn't this check. So they all kind of were cashed last week. 
Uh -huh. um, I think my list shows the you know the days that they were cached. Okay. So some of them were cached in Dam. I mean, in the Anthony branch, our branch in Anthony, because that's closest to El Paso. Uh -huh. And then there ended up being two that were cached here: one Thursday, one Friday. So when we looked through it, we found eight of them had been cached. Of course, we can look at the driver's license. I mean, the signature card and say, "Oh, this doesn't match," but. You know, whose signature doesn't change when yeah. you scribble. And so that's when we called because they kind of knew enough, if you look at the check, they kind of knew enough to kind of space it and write it out. Is that the real this, Mr. Hernandez? This is the real Mr. Hernandez. Okay. Yeah. And so the signatures were, of course, you know, more spaced out, spread out. Mm -hmm. um, so it wasn't exactly, but... So many people don't sign them the same way. Sure. Okay. And so you so, did have two here, and you had several more. About six of them in the Anthony branch. That was okay. there. So let's. Now, let's what I noticed on the backs of these checks, if we look at them, see, there's a signature. It's it's not his, but it's close. So yeah. somebody knew his name and connected to this business. Okay. Because his name doesn't show up anywhere there. Okay. So the backs of the checks were presented with a signature, a phone number, and a social, social I think. And okay. But we were looking at some of the Destiny Rodriguez. She wrote different numbers okay. on the back. So let me, if you don't mind, we'll just go through these one by one. Because sure. I, I imagine after you discovered all this batch of checks, one, two, three, four, eight of them. Eight of them. He filled out this affidavit. and he's in Albuquerque, but he's going to stop and get it notarized and sent back to me. Because okay. I just did this Saturday, and I couldn't reach him. Okay. So I called him yesterday and said, we got to get this done. So all these here are these here. That is correct. Okay, so let's go through these real quick mm -hmm. if we can. And that's what she presented today. Okay, well, actually, let's just finish this. So who accepted this check? Um, the teller. The teller. And what was the circumstances? She drove through... She came in, and I can get Riley in here. Um, okay. I don't want to put words in her mouth. Uh -huh. They had been warned about the check yes. from last week. They okay. were advised about it yesterday. This happened. Um, watch for this check. I said, I doubt if they come back. They know their little scheme is broken right. right now because we, we caught on to it. This morning, I'm going to talk, and it's like... They're here. This check, she, she, you know, she's like, oh my gosh, they're here. So I don't know if they just put it in and said, I want to cash it. Mm -hmm. But she brought the check immediately to us. Okay. That's when I got on dispatch and called. You called dispatch? I called dispatch. Okay. Um, I, I told them, ask them if they have the original expired driver's license. Let's keep in contact to keep her here mm -hmm. until somebody can yeah. arrive. Mm -hmm. And they would ask, and she had a window rolled up, of course, with the dark window. She didn't want anyone to see. Yeah. So she had a little bit of um, window down. And so then she said, okay, we're busy. It'll be just a few minutes. And then she buzzed back and said, how do you want your bills? So she was trying to do dialogue. Yeah. And then they went back another time and said, um, I'm sorry, we're busy. We'll be right with you. Okay. So luckily, I think she was about ready to drive off. This is Riley. Do you have okay. any questions? Yeah, I do. Just her last name, Riley's last name? Binder. B-I-N-D-E. Hi, uh, Riley. This is um, Detective Torres. Uh -huh. And you're the one who took the, you took the um, check? Yes. check. So did she say anything when they sent the tube in? No. No, she just, um, she didn't actually even open the window or anything. I looked out and it was just black and everything. Okay. And when I tried to ask questions, she wouldn't roll down her window. So we sent the canister out to get her to respond. Yeah. And then, then she sort of did. Okay. And so that's when you, you realized it was a bad check and you took it to your... No, I realized it was a bad check the second I took it out because we've been looking for that yeah. specific one. Okay. So I ran it to Julie immediately before we even tried to ask her. Okay, so you're just pretty much stalling her, I guess. Yeah. We, yeah. <laughs> we sent her candy canes to try to get her to stay. Okay, good. You guys did great. Yeah. Um, um, is there a number I can get a hold of you at, Riley? A good number for you? Mm -hmm. Nine. Thanks, Riley. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Is Meredith? She is. Maybe she went to lunch. I don't know. All right. So let's go through these checks here. Which ones of these are your your checks here at this branch? Um. You know what? I have another piece of paper somewhere because I was just curious which tellers I needed to talk to. Mm -hmm. Um. I have 
have way too many papers on my desk. Mm -hmm. I want to say, and I'll go back and check, it was one of the, it was the last two. I think it was the one cashed on the 9th mm -hmm. and the 8th. But I will, let me run them through. It won't take me to oh, just go ahead. write down sure. that. If you can give me the, you know what, if you want to, I was going to say, I was going to need copies oh, of everything. Maybe. It's on this list. Okay. It is. This is my list. Okay. So the ones that were done at this branch is this one and this one. They okay. were the last two. These were all done in the Anthony branch. Okay. These two were here. This was Friday. No, this was, yeah, she was here Friday, I think like 10 in the morning. And so then she went to, to Demi afterwards. Okay. So... So I'm just going to write um, Las Cruces on these last two, right. and then that will if be If you can it. give me the locations of the other ones, so, mm -hmm. um, so that I can ask her about all of them. Mm -hmm. Do I need to write, like, the street address of the branch? Um, Do you need it? Is it just one? Um, There's only one. It's yeah, 455 can... Landers Road in Anthony. Okay. Yeah, just put Anthony then for the yeah, rest. Yeah, and so this is Anthony. And that's in New Mexico? Uh-huh. Okay. Yes, it's in New Mexico. I hope they still have some of this money. I'd sure like to get it back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. So I don't know. She had this license, but I don't know. Is that the license you presented when this she was the one for the, the destiny? This, this is the one presented in Deming. This one never did come. Well, it's the same name. Yeah. But I would have to ask the tellers if they ever saw this person, was it the same white car? I see. You know, I'd almost have to maybe even look at cameras to see. That okay. would take some time. Sure. But um, this one was um, driver's license presented in Deming. Is that any of these checks here? Um, it's the same name. Uh -huh. But whether, see, she's, she's, done, she's had the most, uh -huh. and this is the license, whether... Oh, okay, I, mean, I this see. This license, I don't think, looks like the endorsement I on see. the Destiny Rodriguez. Right, okay. Uh, no. Well, I don't know. It's Could hard be. to say. Could be. So the writing on the back of the checks, who's doing the writing on the back of the checks? I think they presented that way when they're sent in. Oh, okay. So it's already been done. So she's already signed them and put her information on yeah. there? see. So this information is not even the same. Yeah. Is this information? Okay. And that's, you know, finding this out, we're looking at things, lessons learned. It's like if this comes in with this information, mm -hmm. buzz back and say, what's your social? Can they even repeat it? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what these mm -hmm. numbers are. Um, license plate, I, I don't know if my tellers wrote this or they were already written. I'm going to say my tellers wrote this. That looks like a Texas DL. Yeah, and you know what? These are the same, 374. So, so these people... Use okay. this license. Okay. So this is the same license that's presented, mm -hmm. but as far as, yeah, all three of these, I think this one was destiny to, this, I guess they're close enough to be the same signature, but they mm -hmm. all look different. Okay, so if I can get um, copies of all this you stuff have as you of everything yeah. and then all your stuff because I figured you'd need it when I finally called it in once I got the yeah paper. you know and the stuff that occurred in Deming if you can maybe work on this I can since it's in the county Doniana County I can work the cases I can probably um, work them even though they're out of out of the city. Well, now, that'd be Luna County, but it's still okay. Pardon me? Which? Deming is Oh, Deming? No, no, no. Uh, the oh, ones in Anthony. Anthony. Yes, yeah, the one is. that's in Deming was just an attempt, right? They didn't that get the money. Correct. Okay. Yes. Let me ask you about this guy here, because there's a couple of the, that are guys on there, right? Oh, yeah, that name is one of them. But is that the guy? That wasn't the guy in the car, is it? That's, well, he had glasses on, so this could be an older one. I don't yeah. know. This is uh, who, this is the ID we have from this guy. Okay. So this Miguel Angel, it's uh -huh. also in here. Uh huh. It should be. Okay. Let's take a look at his ID. Yeah. Gonna... I forgot I had left marks, but I'm going to leave it. He's Can I get the picture, the yeah. copy of that? Yeah. That's fine. I'll just leave it with you. Are these checks um, his check company checks or are they no, counterfeits? They're counterfeit checks. Okay. They're not his. It's Do they look totally different? They don't look the same. They um, don't look similar. Let me look. 
the numbers are not the same. He has his, his business, the operating account is like 1,257. I mean, they're low numbers, mm -hmm. but he has a payroll account that has 60,000 numbers, not in the 70,000. Yeah, this is the same number on this, so. on this check, and he's sitting out there. So can you tell me about this one with Miguel Angel Rodarte? Or this I, one? I wouldn't know. Oh, that one was cashed in Anthony. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, there was cashed in Anthony. On which date? Uh, this one was cashed on December 9th. 9th. Uh -huh. Okay. Do you know anything about the circumstances of this one? No. I can call the branch. Uh, let me just ask you real quick. And Robert Mascoro. Uh, there's two of them that have uh, guys' information. Hi, Cindy. This is Julie. Um, I'm sitting here with Detective Torres, and he's going through the checks that we um, cashed on uh, American Roofing or American Solar Group. Um, I don't know um, without you looking, but there was two, and VA had cashed both of these, and I know she wasn't, if she's not here today. But there was two to a gentleman, Miguel Angel Rodarte and Robert Mascaro. Um, would you have any idea of those names of those people been around? I mean, do you know what kind of vehicle, anything? Do they have copies of the IDs? Or would you have copies of an ID or do you only write down the numbers of them? You just write down, okay. Um, do you recall, I think you cashed um, to a Stephanie Achoa and a Destiny Rodriguez. Would you have any idea on a type of car they were in? Anything? Okay. Okay, and I can go back. It's just going to take some time, but to see if I can tell by the cameras. Um, so know, I'd have to go when, what time and everything. Can she tell me who wrote this information on the back of the guys' checks? Um, on the back, I think those on me, um, I think, uh, do you know, do you guys usually write the driver's license number down? They wouldn't have come through the drive through with that information already on. Is that correct? No, we write it down. They brought it down. Okay. All right. Okay. That's all our questions right now. Thank you. Bye. Okay. I think that the signature matches this ID. Does it? Okay. And it it's matches his he... name. It's whether that is him sitting up there. Yeah. So, but it is the same number and the same signature. Okay. Okay. Um, is there anything else that I'm forgetting? Uh, oh. You know, I'm going to give you this. Um, this is what they sent me from Deming on the car okay, that good. came in. It had temporary stuff, but it's different on the one today because while they were waiting, um, we went to our ATM to check the ATM. And um, my Sutella supervisor wrote down a different number. Okay, it could be uh, that they're switching so, the paper tag on yeah, the car. Yeah. So, okay, so if let I can me get... make you a copy of everything. Yes, please. Do you also want my uh -huh. notes here? Yeah, that okay. way I can. I don't think you need the adding it up. You can tell that, or I can write the total I did down here anyway. So let me just put all of these on a copier and give it back to you. Mm -hmm. May I have a copy of these? Yeah. To put oh, yeah. With my file? Sure. Okay. All right. Thank you. He didn't pass anything, but it matches your other one from okay. Anthony, I guess. So I'm going to give you those, which were presented today. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to give you a copy of all of this. Just, you want it stapled together? Or uh, just a paper clip or a okay. clip. Okay. More coffee. And like I said, hopefully they can turn over some of the cash that got me first. All righty, I think uh, I think that's all I needed. All right, then. I appreciate your help. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you very much for uh -huh. coming so quickly. Sure, you bet. I'm glad we got here. And <laughs> stop some of this mess. Yeah, you yeah. know, this paper stuff has really gotten out of control. Oh, it's terrible. It's the awful. Fraud. Right? I mean, people. It's the just so easy. <laughs> the um, mobile stuff. Oh, and, uh, I know. And you know, I hate worse than anything is PayPal and Cash Apps and all of this stuff. And they say, well, I can't do it. It's like. You can, how do you know? How do you know? Yeah. I, I hate know? that. You get the mobile deposit. It's like. 
I know. Okay. Um, I, know. I don't even think you guys save like IP addresses, so there's really no way to no. track it. No. So. no, it's pretty scary, and, and you know the young people just think that's the way you do it. It's like you know, let's go back to the old fashioned. You know, I think at some point the banks should think about cutting that stuff out, unless there's a way to uh, configure the app to take your photo real time. You deposit the check. You know, put that's your, a great idea. Put your face to the camera, and that goes with the you deposit. Know, we've got to have something. I mean, it, yeah. you know, we thought, do we want the risk? Yeah. But at the same time, if we don't do it, we're going to lose so many accounts because yeah. they think that's the only way. I mean, it's yeah. kind of like debit cards. Well, you know, for smaller yeah. banks, though, I don't know. I, I like it because you guys are more smaller and you're more uh, responsive. You know, and sometimes you guys even set the trends because it's your money. Mm -hmm. Well, Spargo can afford it. <laughs> you oh, know, I know, so. I know. But then they make it tougher on the customers on other things. It's like, oh. Yeah. So I, it's it's not easy. Banking has changed in the 40 years that I've been in it. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, it's. It's <laughs> way too easy to. Yeah, it they is. should. Somebody should just say, hey. Oh, that's awesome. I guess. Yeah, take a picture, but then the last one has to be of your, of your yeah. face. That and way. I'm hoping there's, you know, more facial recognition, yeah. finger touch, whatever, yeah. that we get to at some point. Yeah, or, you know, IP. It's just getting easier and easier. Yeah. Online ordering, everything. Yeah. I mean, it's just we don't have any way other right. than. Right, and it comes to us and we're like, you know. Mm -hmm. The banks can't track it. We can't. So. <laughs> no. Okay, ma'am. Thanks right, so much. Let me know if you have other questions. Okay, thank you. That just for all changes. Because yeah, I remember, well, like, I don't know, it seems like it's, well, yeah, so last year, last year the canine guys used to, used to, like, yeah, go. take calls for, on patrol, you know, because they're a nasty to patrol, and now they're always COT'd with. I never get to talk to Anthony or Juan anymore. Yeah, Anthony is next door to me. I, uh, <laughs> I haven't seen him in a while. The lady almost got hit. It's going to be at I-25 in Loman, I-25 in Loman. It's going to be on Loman itself. Yes, oh, I-25. I think so. Hey, that car, we ran the tag, right? Yes. But did we run the VIN? Yeah, he ran it in. So it comes back to somebody? Yeah. Okay. Let me just take a picture. I think what we can do is we can take them both 81, tow the car, um, and you're not going to leave it here, right? You wouldn't leave it here. Uh, I would. If it was a private property, you would normally. I mean, I could secure it. Yeah, whatever we need to do, but... Um, I feel kind of bad about leaving it in here. Just uh, take, I guess, that's just take her personal property, the purse, and then 98. Alright, take a video. Let me get a picture of it. Alright, is that your purse in the car? That's not yours? No, there's like a bag in a... There's a purse in the back, behind the driver's seat. That's not yours? No, because they left me that car. Oh. Why? And the keys to the car are where? The keys to the car. Yeah, the keys. I'll have Central... I'll have Central... Uh, Message me the 49 for the vehicle. She's claiming it's not hers. Hers. The bag. Okay. Um, we're going to have to sit on this car because I'm going to get a search warrant for the car. Because that's her bag. And I need to know who she is unless yep. we can get somebody to thumbprint her. We got uh, the house is busy with the house. I don't know. I don't know anybody else has one. Let's see. Yeah, I need an idea. Yeah. I know that's hers. Is transport working? Find out. Is there something else? 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 That looks like a female's backpack, though, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah. It looks like it looks like those high end type, you know. Yeah. High purses that people come out to nowadays. Okay. Yeah. Right, Chad's supposed to come pick them up, sir. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. You they sit in the car. Yeah, yeah let, me, the car. Let, me, let me talk to this kid one more time and then we'll go from there. All right, Ben. Are you, are you awake or are you asleep? So, real quick, man, what is her name, man? She told me that she was kind of like your. Your mom too. She told me the same story. Yes. I mean, she's and she says that she's known you forever, kind of raised you, but you guys live separate and all that stuff. But, but uh, I mean, obviously we know that's you know her real name. What's her real name? What's going to happen after this? I'm going to take her to the station. I'm going to take her to the station and we're going to, I'm going to probably contact the owner of this car, come pick up the car. The backpack that's in there, is that your backpack? No, sure. The leather looking one, the real fancy one, is that, that's her backpack? Okay. So what's her name? What's going to happen to me? Yeah, we're going to go to the station, we're going to talk a little bit. Because you passed the check in Anthony the other day. We'll talk about it. Okay. She gave me that check. What's that? She gave me that check. Okay. Yeah, I get it, man. But, you know, the w only way we, we get through this is to straighten it all up. Because it's a lot of money, bro. It's a lot of money. So, what is her name now? I just want to be with my baby, sir. What's that? I just want to be with my I baby. I get you, bro. I get you. It's almost Christmas time. I, I understand that, man. I totally feel you. But I know, like... No matter no matter how it goes, like it's not gonna look. Good I wouldn't. For me. I wouldn't. I wouldn't make any assumptions, man. This is not a violent crime. It's a paper crime. I know, sir. But still, okay. like, is well, there are options, but you know, options are dependent on on certain things. You know what I mean? So, I know, sir. But I'm just asking you a simple question. What's your name? That's why it's hard for you to talk about your mom? Yeah, because we never had a good relationship and now we're starting to... I mean, she's, she's been helping me out. Right. I know times are tough, yeah, man. Right now with all the pandemic shit and all that and stuff. And she... I mean, she, she... I mean, at first she was giving me money. Yeah. She never had to do shit. Yeah. So what's your mom's name? Graciela. Graciela what? Huh? Jimenez. Graciela Jimenez. What's her birthday? Have a seat real quick. We're going to deal with... I'm going to talk to your mom. And we'll go from there. Have a seat, man. Peter? I told Horacio on Friday. I go, hey. And he just is all like, what? I go, yeah, the email just came out, bro. So Alexis was on the list. This is the old list, not right? Not the one that... Okay. The old one. Man, that sucks. It was Renee. Renee turned it down. Oh, did he? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, he I remember won. he was he was yeah, going he back and forth. Yeah, because I, I, dude, I told him, I go, bro, if you if you go sergeant, bro, you're gonna have you're gonna have to the last part of your career here in the department. You're not gonna have weekends off. You're gonna be like on fucking graves. Because he's, he, I mean. I, I remember. He, I remember we were talking about it. That's yeah, inside. Inside. Okay, so we can't get into it, right? No. Well, we got transport coming, so they're gonna take my guy, and I'm gonna hang out in here. Okay. And then before you just meet me there. You don't have to wait. You don't have to wait for him. Okay. So, brother, how you doing? So you're gonna you're gonna hang out with the car and you're gonna I'll take her take yeah. her take him. Corey will take him. Do you want the car as is? You don't want me to go in there and sec just secure it or roll it up? Or just so just I'm leave it as is because we're probably gonna end up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to get into it if okay. I can knock out paper on it. Depending right. on if she yeah. comes around, I don't know if she's gonna come around. But 
Okay. Cool. I'll meet you in one. Sounds good. Right. So, at the time that we put this guy in my unit, we thought that he was just along for the ride, so we didn't cuff him. Okay. And then when, we, when I read his 49, I was like, oh shit, he's one of the guys that passed the check. Okay. So, he's not cuffed. Okay. All right, let okay. me get his phone real quick. And then... Okay. So, what's going to end up happening is, is like what the investigator said, you're going to, we're, uh, we're going to talk about this over at the station, okay? So, my partner here, he's going to take you down to the station. Uh, so you're gonna go in this car and he's gonna take your phone with with you okay uh, before we go before we take off though it's just our policy is just for our safety that you just got to put on a set of cuffs okay so I'll go ahead and we'll walk over here uh, well, well we'll he'll he'll have the phone yes sir. and uh, and we'll let the investigator know and we'll see if that's cool because right now he's the one that's that's telling us basically what, what's gonna happen next. I'm pretty sure he won't mind, but we have to ask him first. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yes. And you weren't cold in there, were you? It was, no, it was pretty warm in there? Yeah, that's fine. So just go ahead and go to this one. This is that is uh, wallet back there, and then uh, some paperwork. Is that the keys to the car? No, that's to her. Okay. Cool. Oh, hi, brother. Uh, it was, uh, do you have your? Do you have that fingerprint thing? No. Because uh, we can't identify with the female. We don't know who she is. Nathan has it. Yeah, but he's on that code one. So, but nobody else has it, huh? Just him and seven hundred. Seven hundred. Because I know seven hundred's out. I heard him pull. I heard him them yeah. pull traffic earlier today. I think it's so. one of the CID guys. Okay. Why don't you go on thanks? Mark, this uh, Detective Torres is with Las Cruces Police. How are you doing? Detective, I'm good. How are you? I'm good, man. Hey, so I was here at the bank talking to uh, your bank and also dealing with these uh, people that are passing your checks. What can you tell me about sure. all this? So, I think it was Friday. Well, I think it was Friday or Thursday, maybe Friday. Uh, I noticed a couple of checks that were... Uh, all this came amount for $700. And I had looked at it early in the morning, uh, but had a lot of work during that day, so I didn't really pay attention to 
you know, too much. Uh, I looked at, I opened one of the check images and I immediately saw the signature uh, didn't appear to be mine. Okay. I went, I went and I talked to Heine, who is uh, one of, uh, he's the uh, superintendent for uh, two of my companies. And I asked him, I said, hey, Heine, uh, did you sign any checks? Uh, in, in my name and he said no sir I would never do that and I said okay uh, no big deal and I, and, I, and I said you know I, I didn't really pay too much attention after that but later that day I got a call from the Las Cruces branch that someone in Deming was trying to pass a check and they were acting really suspicious okay and and then they told me it is an, uh, did you write a check to a girl named Destiny Rodriguez and that was the same check that I had already seen cleared for $700 um, a couple of times, and, and let me put you on my uh, Bluetooth uh, ahead, detective. Hold on. Sure, go ahead. Okay, I can hear you. Okay, no, uh, so when I when I saw that, uh, and I heard Julie from from our bank let me know that she is literally in the parking lot. I mean, I'm sorry, in the uh, drive-through, and asked if we had signed. Uh, or I'm sorry, we had. Uh, issued any checks to this woman if I knew who she was if the signatures did not match and I said absolutely not um, so we then started looking at the bank accounts and I found between eight maybe nine I don't have them in front of me I literally just signed an affidavit and then over to the bank right now but I think it was about eight checks at that time at that moment that were all during a check series starting with seven zero. Now, we do, I do write handwritten checks and the only uh, person that's allowed to sign these checks is obviously my wife and I. Yeah. Uh, we're the owners of the accounts. Any, you know, and no one else signs these checks whatsoever. And then I started looking at these names. We have never had anybody on our payroll roster uh, as far as employees nor contractors by any of those names and all of those signatures are not from me. Okay. We do, uh, so I do, I do handwrite checks, but it's typically for, you know, just on the spot kind of deal. But all of my payroll is done through ADP, uh, a payroll company. And so, and you know, we do that once a week. So I typically know what's going on coming in. I mean, I'm not only the owner of the, the business, I'm also the accountant. Right. I'm an accountant by trade. And so immediately, you know, we started looking more into it, and um, then I get another call this morning, and uh, again from uh, uh, from the Las Cruces branch telling me that there's a woman there. Can't don't remember the name right now, but um, so that's how we found out about it. And I want to say this happened on Friday. I'm pretty sure it was during. Uh, uh, it was Friday, right? Jim? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was Friday. Okay. So then the checks that, that are being cashed, are they even your checks or, or are they just counterfeit checks? No. No, these are counterfeit checks. Okay. They are not from my payroll company. They are not the checks that are issued from my bank. Um, they kind of look similar to the ADP checks, but uh -huh. nowhere near them. I mean, okay. you can literally tell the difference between the two. Okay, but the account, uh, number, the account number and your company name, American Solar Group, that is correct? Okay, so I'm looking at a couple of canceled checks right in front of me. Let me okay. take a look. Hold on. Um, so it does say American Solar Group. That is our corporate office address, 2300 George Dieter. Okay. That is my account number. That is our routing number. Okay. And those check numbers on the bottom are not any of the series that we've ever issued. I mean, it's, okay. um, it's a forged check. It's a, it's a straight up. It's a counterfeit. Forgery. Yeah. So, the, so this girl that uh, came through the line today, she passed, uh, the check is written out to Evelyn Delgado. Evelyn Delgado? Okay. Yeah. Uh, does that ring a bell? No, sir. How about somebody named Graciela Jimenez? No. Doesn't absolutely ring not. a bell. Okay. All right. So these checks here, um, I'm... I'm going to talk to the person. The person that's cashing him is not authorized to, to be cashing them, didn't have permission, none, none of that. No, absolutely not, yeah. no, sir. I mean, again, we, you know, it, it, and in fact, you're more than welcome to contact our payroll company um, because every check that we author or that I authorize, it goes through ADP. Right. Uh, anything outside of ADP, 
and they'll have records of, of uh, you know, the check ledgers and, right. and you know, all that mm-hmm. good stuff. Um, but anything that's outside of the payroll company, I handwrite those checks. And it's to, you know, it's like to, you know, they're large amounts, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollar checks. I wouldn't write anything, you know, like six hundred bucks, right. seven hundred bucks. Yeah. Okay, so, man. Well, if I okay. if I have any other questions, then I'm I'll, I'll reach back out to you and give you a holler. Okay. Yes, sir. And I'm sorry. What was your name again, detective? It's uh, Frank Torres. Frank Torres. Okay, Mr. Torres. And detective. Um, so this Evelyn Delgado. I, this is a new name, Graciela Jimenez. Was this another incident? No, this is the, the, that's what I think her na- real name is, Graciela Jimenez. So I was wondering if you actually oh. knew uh, Graciela Jimenez. Oh, I yeah, think. the, the, the Evelyn Delgado is a fake name with a fake ID, and um, she's lying about her identity, but uh, but uh, I think her, her name, actual name is Graciela. So. Understood, understood. Okay, no. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... Um, are, are, are they in custody? Are she in custody? Yeah, she's in custody, and the passenger that she had with her is in custody. Uh, the okay. passenger that she had with her was the name on. Oh, it was another name on the checks. It was uh, Miguel Angel, or I forgot the guy. It's one one of the guys uh, was the passenger in the in the car. So I'm going to talk to him as well. Yep, Miguel Angel Rodarte. He yeah. has a check on twelve eight. For six hundred bucks. Right. So he's in the car also, and so I, we have both of them, and I'm gonna see what they gotta say. Okay. Uh, you'll call me back and let me know. I guess whatever the outcome is, whatever you guys find out. And yeah, you betcha. I'll give you a call when we're done. Thank you, sir. Okay, I buddy. appreciate you, detective. If you, if you need anything, please call me anytime. You got it. Thank you, man. All right. Goodbye. Yeah, bye. Hey, first, you know, just give me another minute. Are you thirsty? You want some? Can you hang up for just a minute while sure. I grab something real quick? You want a soda or something like that? Well, I'll be around five minutes. Let me see if I got one. Just a minute. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. What's up, buddy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we probably will. <laughs> yeah, we're still anyway. We'll be here for a while. Uh, yes. No problem, thank you, bro. And so, um, I appreciate you being, being cooperative with me. Um, it goes a long way. Uh, I can tell you right now that it does go a long way when you're being straight. Um, so, hopefully we can, you know, get to the bottom of this thing, figure this whole thing out, why this is happening, and, and then we can, you know, can get on our way. Um, I asked the officer to bring you down here, okay? And so, anytime we, um, I ask him to do that, that means you're detained. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't mean you're under. You're going to be going to jail. It, you know, even though it felt like it, like oh man, I'm going to jail right now. It means you're detained. It means I have to investigate and get to the bottom of things, and then hopefully at the end of it, then we can figure out. Are you the kind of guy that you know that hopefully you know we can work with you a little bit, maybe. Um, so um, since you're detained, I still have to advise you of your Miranda rights, okay? So pay attention. It's kind of like what you see on TV. Yes, sir. But it does, at the end of the day, it doesn't mean you're going to jail. It just means I have to advise you of this, okay? Um, you have the right to remain silent. 
anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to speak to a lawyer, have the lawyer present with you while you're being questioned. If you can't afford to hire a lawyer, the court will appoint one to represent you before any questioning if that's what you want. And uh, you can decide at any time to exercise your rights. Um, you don't have to talk to me about it, and you don't have to answer my questions. Okay, do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay, so um, I just laid it on the scene. I just think it's best to be honest with you. Okay, so the, obviously I have some checks, and I have a check right now. I also have a, a several more checks. Um, I got your ID and everything else, and I just kind of want to know what's going on, uh, why this is happening. Cause, I mean, I know times are for crap right now. With COVID and no jobs and, and you know people staying home all the time and, and I understand that but uh, this person that's driving the car, you, uh, what's her relation to you? She's my mom. She is your mom. And so, w what's going on, man? What? Why is she? Why are we doing these checks? I mean, she's she's been doing it for a while. Yeah. And uh, I, like I said, me. Her, her, the relationship between her and her have never, has never been good. Okay. Because I grew up with my grandparents. No, no. She passed away. Right. And then, so from the day I was born, yeah, like, to 13 years of age. Yeah. Then I moved with her. From, thir from 13? From 13. Okay. To, I would say like 16, that's when I met my girlfriend, who is now the mother of my children. Okay. And I moved in with her, with her family, and they helped me get through school. And, Okay. So, so, so for a few years, where you were with your mom? Yeah, you know, right. For a few years, I was with her, and just things didn't. It was just not the best of relationships, right? It's so, not the best because of what? Though, once, twice. It's just because um, I guess with my grandparents. Yeah. So I was going through mentally depression. Okay. So I guess I didn't want to be there. So I was just like go out and party and all this stuff. Oh, okay. She would at the same time like she would still party. Oh so we would just like, you know, doing your own thing. Yeah. Okay. But not really like a mother son exactly. relationship. Yeah, okay. it's just like you just stay here and Ah, oh, I see. Yeah. Not really giving you the attention you needed. Oh, right. So you said your mom's been doing this for a while. How long has she been doing this? You see, that's the problem. Like that's why I was so hesitant because she, she has a record of this. Okay. That's why I was like, you don't want to get her in trouble. I don't, sir. Like I don't. Does she have a record in El Paso, or where does she got a record of this? I don't think in El Paso. Or... Now your mom seems to be like a. Uh, I mean, she seems to be like I don't know if you call her mom or what, but uh, she seems to be a smart lady. I mean, she seems to be. You know, she's not dumb. Um, how? Uh, why, why does she get mixed up in doing this? Why is she doing it? Because it's easy money. Okay. Like I said, like when she, she would help me and she would just give me money. Okay. And she would tell me, you know, like, oh, I'll get you money, like, what do you need? But not really, she never told me how. Okay. Right? But I knew she didn't work because of what she was going through with, like, her probation and all that stuff. Oh. And I was like, okay. And then one day she was like, because it was my son's birthday on the, on the 8th of this month. This last week, right? Yes. Okay. And he was turning four, or he turned four. Yeah. So she was like, what do you need for the baby? Like, you know, and I, in my head, I was like, oh, like I wanted to throw him something, but I wasn't working at the time. Yeah. I'm not working right now. Yeah. Like I'm waiting till January for my new job. Okay. And, uh, I was like, well, I need this, this, and this. And she was like, I mean, I could do something for you, but you gotta do it. And I was like, okay. And she just gave me a check, and she was just like, just take it to right there, to Anthony. Okay. And just, they're just gonna give you money, and that's it. Okay, just with the ID, and they yeah, just check. ID you the check. No questions asked, they shouldn't ask you anything. If anything happens, it's on me. Okay. okay. So let me ask you then. So when you went to the, the bank, I just showed you that way we were just on the same page here. So here's a copy of the check we're talking about. Right here. Okay, and I think on the date right there, December, what was it say? December 8th? 9th. Okay, 
Okay, so that's the bank's debt. Was it the eighth or the ninth? Do you remember? The check was on the eighth. Okay, right here. Is that when you went to the, the bank? Because eighth is a, a Tuesday. Yes, that, that was my my son's birthday that day. Okay, so that's when you went. So to when I got the as soon as I got the money, like that's when I started um, getting him stuff for his birthday. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so that uh -huh. is maybe a day late. Then. Yes, sir. Okay. So when you went to the bank in Anthony, you you went to the drive through right? Yes, sir. And then you gave put the check and you put your ID in there. And you signed it. This is your signature, then, right? Yes, sir. So this ID right here, this written on here, that was from the, not from you, right? You That's not my hand. Oh, you know. So you just signed it and sent yes. the ID. Yes, sir. Okay. And then they gave you the six hundred dollars, and that was no questions asked. Did you give your mom any money for that? No, sir. You kept it off. Yes, sir. So you know, we get this check. It looks pretty good. It actually looks pretty good. I mean, like you're, like she knows what she's doing. How does she do these? Does she got a laptop, or what does she got? I mean, I've seen her computer. What does she do? How is she making her checks? I've seen her in like laptops and um, printers and stuff. Yeah, right. So she just puts in the paper, types in the information, and she prints it all up. So then, let me ask you this then. Right, right now, where is the laptop and printer at? Probably in her apartment, sir. I don't know. Is that here in town, or where is it? No, it's in El Paso as well. Okay. How about uh, the, the reason that I asked you, um, there's a bag in the car. There's a backpack in the car. It's not a guy's backpack. No. It's, it's your mom's backpack, right? Okay, so is that computer in the backpack? I think so. I haven't looked into it. It's possible the laptop could be in that backpack? It's possible. I'm going to she... Or maybe, did you see if she had any more of these checks in the backpack? No, sir. You don't know if she has more? Is it possible she does? Maybe. Maybe she does? Yes, sir. All right, so... I mean, today, I didn't... Mean, like, me personally, I didn't come to get money. Yeah. Like, it was all right. Why did you come today with her? Because we were going to go to a... Mm -hmm. After you got money, or what? I, yeah, I think so. Yeah, and she was going. She was like, "Let's go to Albuquerque, so we could go get Christmas presents for the babies." Why did she want to go all the way over there instead of El Paso? I mean, she's probably she probably knows that they're looking for her or her. That, oh, okay, you know. So she wanted to cash another check maybe here before going up. I think so. Yeah. How about the uh, car? The car belongs to somebody named Fausto or Jose or something. Or I don't know. What is, who's whose car is that you to? I thought it was hers. Okay. She told me that this is my new car and I just got it and everything. I was like, cool. Okay. And is she currently on probation? Uh, I think she's like in talks to be in probation. Okay. For stuff like this, right? All right. So your mom passed the check. Obviously, you were sitting there when she did it. She passed the check and the check was in the name of somebody named Evelyn Delgado. Do you, do you know who she is? No, sir. Do you know who that girl is? No, sir. I've never seen her in my life. That's the real level of Delgado. Because your mom took a, her ID information and put her picture on it. Is your mom, I guess your mom just took her picture and on her laptop and... I guess, sir. I really know. Okay. I don't know how she did it. Because I know she used the guy that she's with right now. Like they use my information to do that. Like how so? Like I have I have evidence of his picture with my information. Really? And I and I try to go to El Paso, uh, you keep the police the department meeting, and they they wouldn't investigate. How stuff. how did you find out though? Because it's a bad alone in the name. Oh shit! So when I went, they were calling me like, oh you oh you owe me no money, and I was like, well from where? They were like, this so way. whose uh, picture is on the, your ID, on the fake one? Um, mm -hmm. Or his name is Sergio. Sergio what? Oh. What's his last name? It's like a weird last name. Sergio Mascoro? No. Artilano, I think. Artilano? I think. Sergio. Goes by Checho. I don't know. Sergio Atilano, like that, A-T-I-L-A-N-O? Yes, sir. That's it? A-T-I-L-A-N-O, like that? Yes, sir. Is he Hispanic? 
How old is that? Be? 1920. Yeah. And what's his relation to your mom? I think they're together. Really? I don't know. Mom's a little older than you. Oh, yeah. I yeah. So he, your mom made an ID for him with your information, but with his face on it? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Did you confront your mom about it? Say, hey, you know, you're screwing up. I did, and she gave me money. Uh huh. How long has that been? Uh, it's already been like six months. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's been a while. So then, um, you don't know how she would have gotten this uh, devilman's ID? No, sir. I've never seen her. I don't even know. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, your credit goes to heck, you know. Your... So then, um, that's your mom, right? So then, who is who is this? And I'm kind of curious. Let's see. Who's that? Who's the lady in the picture? Is that somebody you know? No. No. Because she put Evelyn, the real Evelyn's information, with that picture. That's what she used right now. Okay. You don't know? No, you know? I've never seen her. How about somebody named uh, Destiny Rodriguez? No, sir. You don't know anybody with that name? No, sir. That picture got a face on the moon of God? I'm just kind of worried about these people because they could be like you. Yeah, I know, sir. You know, anyway, out there with. How about somebody named Robert Mascoro? No, sir. That guy look to me? No. Okay. How about somebody named Nicole Beltran? No, sir. So, this, how many times have you been with her when she's cashing these checks? No, just today and the one, and the one she gave me. Just today and the one she gave me. That's just two times. Yes, sir. Destiny Rodriguez, you don't know anybody by that name? No, sir. Is there anything in that car that belongs to you right now? No, sir. Okay, so if I was to get a search warrant and search the car, there's not going to be any more stuff that belongs to you in that car? That belongs to me? No, sir. Okay, so that backpack that's in the back seat is hers? Hers, yes, sir. And it's possible that she might have her laptop or something like that? Possible, sir. Or maybe more checks? Maybe. Did you see any more checks? No, sir. No, she would usually get her backpack and everything. Is that where she keeps more like a lot of her stuff? Yeah. Okay. I was just I was just chilling on the bed. Like right? when she gave you the check, did she like get it out of the backpack and give it to you, or do you remember? Because it's pretty straight, it's clean. Mm -hmm. What the, the little check she gave you, the cash? Oh, the one that she gave me? Yeah. No, she um she I went to her place and I picked it up. Okay. So where does she live at? She right now she's living in downtown El Paso. Which uh, what's the address? Oh. Um, I don't know the exact numbers. I just know that it's in Florence Street. She doesn't live in Berino? No, sir. Wait, how long? Because she, she's got an address for her ID in Berino. She used to live there? No, not that I remember. One that I know. On Pedro Berino Road? Not that I remember, sir. But, uh, that's her, right? Yeah, yeah that's her. That's her address in Berino? No. I don't know. Is there anything else that, about today or about the other check that you cashed in Anthony? Anything else that I forgot to ask you or anything you think is important I need to know? No, sir. Okay. The, the only thing I'm going to do now, right now, again, is I'm going to check your story and I'm going to make sure, hopefully, we'll see about this car thing. Uh, I'm inclined to maybe. Depending on how circumstances go out, maybe get a warrant later for you, and you can go home and I can talk to the DA about the case, and that will give me time. But in the meantime, you know, you don't have to spend your day here or your days in, in jail, but I'm going to check a few things out first, okay? So, so if you want to eat your chips and drink your water real quick, give me, some, give me a few minutes, and then cause the officer's going to take you back in just a few. Okay, so uh, punch down real quick, and... And then uh, 
I, I don't think maybe an hour or so, give or take an hour. And so I'm going to ask for a phone call. The officer can take you back there and he can let you make the phone call. Do you have your phone with you? I do, say. I was going to ask if I could use it because I don't know my wife's number. Okay. Right. So later on, we're not there yet, but later on, would she be able to come and get you? Yes, she, she has family members that hopefully can come. Well, back. just because the car's not yours, right? Yeah. Yeah, unless, unless your mom would let you take the car. I mean, you could ask her. Okay. I'll ask her, would you prefer that? Maybe it's that way you don't have to call people up? Yeah, just so they won't, like, I don't want people to know my business. You know what's going on? Yeah, like, what's going on? Okay, well, that's going to be a discussion me and your mom are going to have, okay? And so if you don't have to be patient with me on that, like I said, hopefully within an hour or so we can get this thing squared away. Uh, eat your food though real quick, and then uh, drink water. I was going to ask you if you could tell them if I could just turn the side of the cups. You can probably use one cup. Because right now, like, look. Yeah, that happens, man. That happens when you're kind of a big guy anyway, so your arms are kind of... So if you can just... You just ask him just to use one cup like this, and that way, you know, you like you're, like, down. you're more comfortable. Okay, you need... Oh, man. responded. Uh, the officers, I guess, were really close by, so 
I don't know what the deal is, but the bank had it in here. Mm -hmm. These things were not legit, so that's why they called us. Uh, and so that's why we are here. Um, and so that's what I want to talk to you about is this deal right here, what was going on. I know you said something about, I don't know, Mark, or I, I don't know who you were uh, referring to, Mark. Um, uh, being nearby or something like that, I don't know, but um, I wanted to speak to you about this whole, this whole deal. Um, I asked the officers all to bring you down here, um, so I had them detain you, so that we could get to the bottom of this. When I detain somebody, it doesn't mean that you're going to go to jail at the end of the day, it just means that you are detained, and I have to advise you of your Miranda rights, okay? Um, but hopefully we can square this away and figure out what's going on with this check that you were, were trying to present. Um, what else? So I talked to him again. He kind of told me a few things. And and so maybe I'll ask you about those things too. So if you can just pay attention, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to speak to a lawyer and have the lawyer present. Uh, with you while you're being questioned. If you can't afford to hire a lawyer, the court will appoint one to represent you before any questioning if that's what you want. And you can decide at any time to exercise your rights. Um, you don't have to answer my question. I know you were very cooperative out there and all, and all that stuff, but uh, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. And you don't have to speak to me if you don't want to. Do you understand that? Okay. So I kind of laid the cards out on the table. I mean, it's pretty obvious. This is I mean, you're in the back of the of New Mexico Bank. And you were passing this check, and I was wondering what you can tell me about this check you were trying to cash today. I told you that it worked like a week or so for Mark. Uh, mm -hmm. Sells for the solar. Okay. And he sent me that, well, like, he sent it to my address, and I called him to see if it was going to be legit because I only had an ID. Okay. And he's this like, um, at, uh, that's cool, says if you, if you have problems, call me. Okay. So I was calling him, and I'm still here. Okay, so were you able to ever get a hold of him? Yeah, he was on, on his way. I don't know from where, but he was on his way. Okay, all right. So you did door-to-door -door for solar. What does that mean when you do door-to-door -door for the... For it's like, um, I go, like, you know, like door-to-door, -door, you know, people never have nobody knocked in your door and yeah. to sell you stuff. So did he give you, like, a, a, like a thing of what to say? Like this, uh, this well, he was, well, he would like walk with me and then he would just like, you know, I'd go on my own. Oh, okay. All right. What was the people? So, like, this, like, three, four weeks ago. Okay. Right. He wasn't going to pay me. So, I was running this ID that you gave us, and this ID, I run it like a whole bunch of times, and it, it's not coming back. What do you mean? Usually we get a return, what's called a return on the ID. Is this your ID? Mm -hmm. Is that your actual ID? Yes. Okay, because it's not coming back. Do you have any idea what, about how long ago did you get this ID? About a month. About a month or so? Yeah. They, they should, it's August? Okay. Yeah, that's not my stuff. Okay. So you've had this ID for about a month or so. Okay, because it's not coming back. That's what they said. That's what they said. Okay. All right. So let me ask you about this person right there. Do you know who that is? No. You've never seen her before? Have no, no. that face? No. Because okay, that's the actual face that belongs on this ID. <laughs> when I run that name, Evelyn and Delgado, and that birthday, this is what comes back. 86. Yeah, it comes back to this lady right here. 1986. Yeah, I've got it right here. It's got crazy. It. it says Clems Road. It says everything on here. Mm -hmm. Everything. Exactly the same. Even the expiration date is the same. The ID number is the same. Everything is the same. The address, but it's coming back to this person. Yeah. Coming back to her. Okay. So let me ask you this. What is what is is your name Evelyn Delgado? That's your name. That's your name? 
Can you pull your mask down just for a minute? Why are you saying you're this person when you're this person? I just want honesty, okay? I mean, it's done. I'll just tell you, I know who you are. I know who you are. I know that your name is Graciela. I know what you do. I know you've gotten in trouble before. Um, I know that car is busted damning. I know it was uh, here Where was it the, the other day. Why? They locked the tap. They took a picture of it. <clears throat> the bank was already on alert, like I said. No, I know. Like, no, I heard you, but like, what was it on that? And then oh, I like... don't know. I can look through it. I got a bunch of checks. I got several oh, checks. Oh, There's oh. More, than, more than one. There's a bunch. And actually, your son cashed one last week. Mm -hmm. With some... Oh, yeah, because he for that guy. Yeah. And I talked to Mark, and Mark doesn't... Mark says he's our counterfeit. He so says the only thing legit on here is the name of the company and the routing number of the account number. I work financial crimes, I can make, if you give me a routing number, account number, and a, and a name, uh -huh. I can make checks all day long. I, I know how to do it, I can go home on my computer, I can make checks all day long. Uh -huh. The only thing that's legit on here is the name and the accounts. And uh, that's how I got it on the... Is that how you got it? Uh -huh. how, that's how I got it. So you worked for Mark, and he gave you a check, and you went. No. So I worked for Mark. Right. My son worked for Mark. Your son worked for Mark, too. And I did, too. Okay. I just saw my son was for something. I said, I did. It was easy for you to make the ID? I was not passing. I mean, I, 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 a friend of mine just told me that. Okay. She did it. Gave you the ID so that you could cash the check. So why, if you're working for Mark, don't you just use your own name? Um, cause I can't. Um, cause I was in jail. Mm -hmm. For doing stuff like this, right? No, I'm not doing this Okay. <clears throat> and my friend, well, she asked me if I could do it. I'm like, well, I'm like, not really because like, do I have. Hires and I don't want to get caught. I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, but if you're working for Mark, if you're working for this guy, Mr. Jim, yeah. you don't have to worry about that. You just no. let me check. There I go. I'm going to go cash it. Okay. Unless your friend told you this paper is, is worthless, this is, you know it's a fake check. Well, and I know it is. I already talked to Mark. I talked to him. He's the owner of this company. I mean, he told me. He, well, he, yes, I know, but I he, know. He, he knew last week that just there was. About. Um, because Jezebel and her boyfriend, they, I, I guess they weren't for them too. Okay. And I guess they had that sex switch or whatever. Okay. And they just told me I put somebody that could make me an idea. Oh. Where did you go to school at? Come to your high. Where did you go? Did you go any further than, than high school? I went to business, international business. ID, yes. Yes. I'll see. What did you study over there? Um, office. Office. Like office skills, secretarial mm -hmm. reception, all that stuff? Okay. Yeah, but I didn't finish because I got pregnant again. Oh. It was hard. Because you're how old are you going to see right now? 38. 38. Okay. Um, have you gotten in trouble in, in New Mexico in Banana County? Mm -hmm. Have you? Yeah, you can go pull your, your... No, I haven't your been arrested here. Okay. Um, so, I don't know. I've been working paper crimes and financial crimes for a long time. And every now and then I see people that know a little bit more than your average uh, person. If you got people that steal, like burglars, they steal mail, or they get into places and they steal mail, or they just raid the mailboxes, whatever they find. And it's real simple to go home and take the, the go through all the 
mail and for checks and account numbers and you'll send it's real easy to find ID cards and um, stuff like that. It's, it's real easy. So I know that Mark didn't give you he didn't work for solar. Well, I mean, I guess that girl did. Huh? I guess that girl did. Like I said, there's a lot. Yeah, jo Joseph Lunares uh, is uh, works for, I guess, Mark. And Joseph is dating Jezebel Salido. What was her name? Jezebel? Salido. Which they asked me if I know somebody to, to make an ID. Yeah. So they could go cash and check. Okay. So who works, who actually works for Mark and the solar group? Like Joseph. Joseph Lunat. So if I call him right now, right in front of you, Mark, because I got Mark's number, and I ask him, do you have an employee named Joseph? He's going to say yes. Well, that's like, well, I guess. I mean, like, if they're the one who gave me the check, and the one that gave me the, you know, the ID to go. Okay. I guess I could be so. Okay. Oh, um, <clears throat> so last, last week, or whenever it was last week, or whatever that was, and your boy was... I guess you guys have never really, like, I get it. he was telling me he lived with his grandparents for a long time. And then he lived with you for, he lived with you for a few years. And then he kind of moved out and did his own thing with his girl. And they got a couple well, kids. I went to jail and stuff. All right. So he went and had a couple kids with his girl. Right. So he's got a one-year-old or he's got a baby, right? He has a, uh, about one-year-old and a baby. A year old. A year old. Is he a boy or a girl? They're boys. Okay. The other one is how old? Three. Three. So he's got two little ones. And he was telling me something about his job, about not working, or his, he's going to have a job lined up at, after the start of the year. Yes. What's up with that? Why isn't he working? Because uh, he, he had a moment where his uh, ex or his baby mama yeah. left him for another guy. And he really took that part because you know he hasn't I've been around, his dad hasn't been around. And well, his parents passed away, so that's okay. I mean, that's and to have this girl that he did everything for, you know, she like, take the kids or try to play games with the kids? Not really. Like she didn't take the kids, it's just, like she would just leave up there with the oh, kids okay. and go with this guy. Uh, and um, you know, like I'm I'm trying to be there for him and to him, to that's, pretty, him. that's pretty depressing right there. Yes. Because he even told me that he got all depressed and everything. And I mean, like right now, he has his job lined up and I'm trying to help him ask him, like, you know, to get a job. And I have this interview tomorrow, but I don't know. So. I have this interview and I have. This I, isn't I know my apartment and I got, you know, like, I'm trying to get back on my feet because I lost my other kids. and. He lost I was in, in the streets. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not in the streets, but like, you know, not like doing, not doing my own stuff. Doing your own thing. And um, so, you, you know, stay. now that I have an apartment and I'm going to try to get this job tomorrow, like, you know, I'm just trying to get back on my feet so I can just be good yeah. for them. So, what's your actual address? What is your actual address? I got an address of. Uh, Downtown. Yeah, yes. Six or nine? Six or nine. Four. Let's see the permanent. Four. That's a little boy. Let's see your number if I need to get a hold of you. Phone number. Nine. Nine one five. Three oh two. I don't know if it's three. I'm sorry. I've already changed numbers. I don't remember. But I'll give you my sisters. So that's the best way. Okay. Nine one five. Oh. All right. <clears throat> so. Um, Here's here's the thing. Um, so I was kind of describing to you this thing about paper and uh, how easy it is and stuff like that. So your son was telling me about what happened because he's down. And he's kind of down on the money. And, and uh, last week that you were last week or the, the day before this other check went through, that you gave him this check with some cash got the money for it and so he was able to do this thing for his kid and whatever you know buy the stuff he used for his kids but he told me 
he told me that he made the check. He told me that he's done this before. He told me that you. I didn't have a meeting with somebody. Just listen, 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 listen to me. Just listen, listen to me. I, 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 he says, you know how to use the laptops. He knows he, that you know how to make them and do all that stuff. He had an incident several months ago where his information wound up being used by Sergio, I forget the last name, and that they were calling him. You know who Sergio is. Um, I don't know I forgot the name was, but it's crazy. <clears throat> and that for some reason you made him an ID with his information, but with his name, and he ended up getting catching some slack for it. So I know you're making this stuff. I know you're making this. I know this is going to be a bad rule for you if you keep on doing it. If you keep making this fake paper. I know right now, this is all I got right now. This is all I have right now. All I have is this. That's it. But I've seen people real quick rack up this list to where I've got one, two pages, and I got all kinds of money. Right now, it's one one victim, one business owner, one bank, and that's all I got right now. I don't not have a jurisdiction with whatever you're doing in Texas. But I do have jurisdiction with whatever you're doing in Doniana. And right now, this is what I have. And I know I, your son just basically laid it out because he doesn't want to go down that bullshit. I know. I'm um, stupid. You know, and if, if I can look up your record. I can call a pastor. I can find everything I need to know. But I know right now that you know how to make checks. And that's going to get you in a lot of shit. It's going to get you in a lot of trouble. And you know it. This right here, this ID card is a felony right here. You're walking around in New Mexico with a felony right here by possessing, by, by passing this off all by itself. And then this fake paper that, it's nice. I'll, I'll give it to you, you know, how to, you know what you're doing. It looks good. But it's gonna get you in a lot of trouble. It, let me ask you this, is what's it gonna take to get you to stop doing stuff like this? Um, um, right. I mean, you're 38. I mean, you're not. You know, it's not like you got to. You know. I think missing my kid, like here. See, me. yeah, no, I and mean, that's it. I mean, he he bought the farm for last week. He admitted it, though. He knew he was a fake paper, and he knew what he was doing was wrong. But he's kind of hard up for for this. I. But shit, I just wanted my grandkid to have a birthday, and I know how he's stressing, and I know how this girl just did him wrong, and I it's, there's no justification for my but no, but me seeing him right there, it's, yeah, like um, I'm treating him alright. I, I mean, I, there's no you no, didn't I kill know, him, but right? I don't want him to have this in his right here, like yeah. like no. So I again ask you, because I got all these, this list of checks, and I got them all. I mean, I got all the copies. I got the, they're going to get me all the video. They're going to give me, you know, but right now it's, it's just this. Thank God it's just this. And this, they will make him, the owner of this business, they'll make him fine. You know, the bank is going to end up eating this loss. But I, man, this is, this is not bad. I mean, you're, you're the kind of person that scares me, I'll be honest with you, because you can go in, Get more mail. I didn't get mail. You can go get more account numbers. You no. can get a friend that needs money, and bam, I'll give me a name, give me an account number, give me a right. That's all I need. You're that. So you're the kind of person that really makes me nervous. No, but I shouldn't. I'm not like that. I'm not a criminal. Yeah, but how did you learn to do stuff like this? Where I mean, where is, I, I, is this like a YouTube thing? Because I know it's on YouTube. <laughs> No. I could figure out how to do some YouTube. I saw it on YouTube. But how did you learn to make your shit like that? I mean, it actually looks decent. I don't know what to say. I know in the beginning it probably looked like crap, but that, it doesn't look like crap. The skin was decent. Huh? Yeah, I didn't make it. No, you did make it. You did make it. I know that for a fact. You made it. And it doesn't make it worse or less worse or nothing. You can lie to me all you want, but I know you made them. So, I mean, I, I don't know why you go on to lie about that. Uh, where did you learn to make them like that? I mean, I didn't learn. You just got on your computer and that was that. You figured mm -hmm. it out. I know most people, that's what they do. They figure it out and they eventually the print everything looks good and there you are.
So how many? No, I know. I've been working by the paper for you know. Not a lot of people figure this out, but when you do, they cause a lot of damage. Really fast. In about three days, right here. In about a week, you've got more money than I could make. Legit. But not me. Yeah, but this is all you right here. This is what you're causing right here. This bank is now out five grand. I mean, it's not, you didn't kill nobody, but still, that's a lot of money. I'll pay it back. Would you pay it back? That's a, that goes a long way. I'm glad you said that, right? I'll pay it back. Because I'm, I'm looking at, no, I'm not going to, I'm not the one that makes you pay things back. I know, but... I but if well, you you know because you've got in trouble, you know who I'm going to talk to next. I'm going to go to the DA and I'm going to say I got eight checks. That's all I got. And yes, you make some and shit like that. But you know, I don't know. This is the first time in Donata County, maybe. I don't know. But, mm -hmm. So what did you do with all this other money? What are you trying to do with all this? I know your son cashed the one, but and there's a guy Robert Mascoro. Who's Robert Mascoro? Did you make another ID for somebody, or is no. that? Or is that? People continue to. Who is that to you? But I know how's he related to you? Is this? Uh, it's just is, it, is, that, is this the real guy that cashed the check, or is it just like today? No. Yes. Okay. I don't know why I have a. I know that I'm gonna get in trouble. But like when people come to meetings that they need help. Uh -huh. So what did you like, tell Robert? The same thing as your uh -huh. take this and use your ID, or what did you tell? Oh, he asked me. Yes. Uh -huh. and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna make it up to you. Oh, okay. So he was wanted you to do him a favor, basically. Uh -huh. And so all these other women don't. I mean, besides your son and this, I'm, I'm, they're all the same. And I'm looking at the paper, it looks like, it all looks like the same writing. Is this all the checks, is that it? Six checks? Is that all you cashed in this county? That's it. In That's Anthony, it, period. The, the one in, it. There was one in Deming, there was an attempt, there was no cash though, they didn't give you the money. What well, was it? Deming, I don't mind, I don't mind. Okay. I mean, like, I, Blend on the car. Like okay. I said, that's a loan. I'm a little bit of But, um, I don't know. Okay. And so, how about the ones that in Anthony? There's a bunch of them in Anthony. I think that's what, uh, Robert, my son Yeah. Okay. So, um, so, Miguel asked me. <laughs> Because uh, I was telling him, because he's like, well, what, what's from here? I go, I don't know. It depends on what, a lot of things. But if I cut you loose, how are you going to get home? So he asked me a question. I'm going to ask you. He doesn't want to call his girl or her family or nothing like that. Have them come know he's here at the police department. He asked me to ask you if you could take the car that we're sitting on still at the bank. However, I, I see a backpack back there, I'll be honest with you. I see a backpack, I see a trunk. I don't know if there's more fake paper. If there is, I want it off the street. If there's mail, I want it there's off the street. I want I, there's just, a, I know you, I'm like, I'm here, like, I, why you should, why you should me? But there's nothing. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to release that card to him unless I know for sure there's not more of this crap here or, or a laptop sitting there with all kinds of information. There's or, you know, 20 pounds of meth in the back of the car. Is there any narcotics other than marijuana? There's marijuana. No, I'm just saying, is there anything? No, no. Okay, no. so I'm going to ask you because he wants to, uh, if I was to let him go. So I'm not going to get let go? No, you are going to get arrested for for the, this for this one paper. That's so it. how much? No. Like, what is that? You're going to, you're going to, you never got in trouble in New Mexico. Okay, so here's what happens in New Mexico. You go to, you do a telephonic, because everything's telephonic. And the judge is going to say, what kind of crime is this? It's a nonviolent crime. He's probably going to release you right off the bat with a, with, with, without any, any problem. There's, we don't do high bonds or bonds. It's not like Texas. 
That's why people come and climb to the West Coast. No, but like, I don't even know. Like, I didn't even know about no. Yeah. Like so that. more than likely, you're going to get out pretty fast. But probably by tomorrow, at the latest. Um, I have my interview. Make a phone call. I don't care what you tell them. That's on you. I'm not advertising. No, I know. So you can say what you want to say. But uh, going back to my thing about your son is, if I was to let, I, I would need to search that vehicle to make sure there's no more paper and no more nothing else in that car. If you were to give me that permission to do it, I would do it with you standing right there next to me. And then after we do the search, then uh, your son could, with your permission, leave, leave yeah, with that car. Nothing. Okay. So this permission that I'm asking for you is called a consent to search the car. I'm being straight up, I don't want to hide nothing or bullshit you. I'm looking for more of this. You would be standing right there watching me uh, look for the paper, if there's nothing found, the, I can then let the car go to your son and you can take it with, if that's what you want. Um, if I find more I'm, really, I'm just telling you that there's nothing. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm i asking you for permission to search it because, I, and I'm not threatening you, I'm not trying to sit here and get in your head or nothing like that. My other route is to get a search warrant which I would do and I'd get a search warrant, but then the car is mine till God knows when and nobody's going to take that car anywhere. Well, I'm not needing him to go over there and but, take care of the baby. But I don't want that to be a reason for you to think, okay, I gotta, you, um, I gotta get this to you. Um, I, it has to be totally voluntary. You're like, okay with it and you can be right there standing there with me as we search the car for more paper. Um, he did tell me that was your backpack and I asked him, is there any more paper in that backpack? Are you sure there's no, I don't know, but there could be, I don't, and I don't know either. That's why I'm kind of like curious, because I've seen people that carry their laptops right there in their backpacks. They go to a hotel and more paper. They bounce to the hotel. I don't have paper. Yeah. So, um, uh, I'm going to get a consent form real quick. I'm going to explain it to you. You don't have to give me consent, but I'm going to explain it to you anyway, and then we'll go that way. That way, but what am I going to be charged with? It's going to be charged with having this fake ID and passing this fourth check. But what is it? Those are fourth degree felonies in New Mexico. What so that's the bottom. That's the bottom felony. <clears throat> okay, I'm not charging you with the other ones because I I don't have the stuff they said they could provide for me, like the video and all that stuff. And that stuff is in Anthony. Obviously, I don't work in Anthony, so. Um, all I have is just this right now. But let me get that uh, form and we'll... Uh, tomorrow morning. Form one. Hold on. I think your son has a license, right? Does he have a license? Um, I did. I didn't look. I think that I am the reason. Um, who's, who's so? Who's Destiny Rodriguez? That's you too, right? What's so, that mean? No, I know, but it's the ID you were using for all these other ones. No. Okay. I'm just asking because I mean once I get that video and all that stuff they're going to show me the car they're going to show me all this and that I mean I, I, don't, I don't know why you want to lie <clears throat> is that just an ID you're using? no I'm not charging she's you she's a she's a Robert's like or something like that oh okay so she, she the one that was borrowing your car, or what was she doing? They borrowed it, like, for a couple of days. So what was the deal? They were just, you're just being nice, or they were just going to split it? No, I didn't even get nothing out of it. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. I people. I get in trouble for my own shit, for other people, and this, this is the second time. For... I 
I'm not going to do. I'm going to take, we're going to take you back over there. Let me just explain to you this form, okay? So this is a consent to search form. <clears throat> it's dated today's date, which is December 15th. Uh, I'll put the time on there when we get there. But I'm working as a forgery. And your name is Graciela. The last name again? Yes. This is a white, what was that card? It was a white? White and off. White and off. And it's got a tip tag on it, I think. Is that a tip tag or legit? Is that a, is like somebody just bought that card? Is that your card or is that somebody else's? Okay. And did you buy it in Texas or did you buy it here? Texas. Okay. So the tag number, I'm just going to write the tag, that tag is right there on there. Uh, Texas temp tag. Is the other guy doing okay? Drinking yeah. water and ate his food and all that. Here's what it says. Let's see what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Set to search. When it's set to search, this basically describes the vehicle and the temp tag number, and it says after being advised of your rights to deny a search, meaning you don't have to give me the permission of your vehicle to me, Detective Thomas. Um, uh, who I know to be a member of the Las Cruces Police Department, I can make a complete search of this vehicle located at the bank over there, 3000 East Lowland. Uh, I'm not threatening you or using any um, coercion or promises of reward. You've been advised that anything taken in the search may be used against you as evidence. Uh, I also give permission for the investigating officer to confiscate any all articles questionable in nature and any items of contraband. I am the owner agent of this property, and you are the one using the car, so you have the authority to grant this permission. Um, and I understand that I may accompany the officers, that's why you're coming with me during the search, and you can stop the search at any time. Okay? Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, we'll go out there. I'm looking for more of this kind of stuff. Your backpack will, if you want, you can take it with you to the detention center. And then after that, like I was asking you before, about your issue with your son, with your permission, then you can, as long as there's no more stuff in there, we can turn it over to him. Mm -hmm. Okay? Is that, is that okay? If it is, take your, if you want to read it again, if you want to print your name, you want to sign your name, uh, give me permission. This officer is gonna. We're gonna go back out there, and we're just gonna search it. And as long as it's good, we're gonna grab the keys. We're gonna come back, and we can then turn the car back over. Okay. Want to take it back out there to the? Yeah. He's gonna give you a ride. And my wallet. Do what? My wallet is in my wallet. Is it in there? It's in the car. It'll go with every, anything you want with you. We'll take it out in minutes. It'll go with you. That way they get started. I'll meet you out there. Did you work in that whole part of
not over. Shop with me. Go out and go to the what? Yeah. All right. We'll see you later. Why is it purple? Hey, hey, big brother watching. That's okay. They can watch me all they want. They can come stand next to me if they want. I don't care. Who cares anymore, right? I'm just waiting for Arnai. Arnai's gonna take photos of searching. Uh, they just need her present for the search. And then we're gonna give the car to him. And you can take her, he's gonna charge her. Forge 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 yeah, I can do the picture. Are you going to handwrite it? Yes. Oh, I'll handwrite it. I'll be able to read it then. Try to say it yourself. <laughs> okay. So you guys have the last yeah, wild card spot, right? Her As of right now. Information has so a picture of the bottom of the of, the of his return. But, but, is, but it's not so bad there? because if you could read yeah, the link to that. It's going to be here. Grisella Jimenez. The 15 times on there? Oh, the 15 times? The 6 no. would play the 4. Well, they got and a if chance. that's the case, they you play a, the Giants. Yeah, they got Poor a guys chance. in the dark. So, they got a chance. Yeah. You good in the dark or you want the light on? Huh? Alright. I was like, hey, stop right here. Because so right as soon as she brings it, I see if we can six, eight more. Oh, damn! Experiment, <laughs> shoot, no, whatever you want. To. We gotta take some couple of quick pictures of the outside and then we'll. Okay, so it still applies okay. I mean, at any time you can revoke the consent. You don't have to let me search um, at any time. So I just want to make sure that that's, that's clear. Um, you want to get my wallet? We'll, we'll take whatever you want to take with you out of the car. And that way you can keep it with you. Is it a wallet and what, what do you want? No, just my wallet. It's your wallet, okay. Did he have the keys to that? Did he have them? No, he said no. he doesn't. I guess okay. in the car. Yeah, I think they're in the car. All right, just, uh, Sergio, just keep an eye. You want to give me the, give me the, I'll knock it out real quick. I'm going to do the interior, that's, yeah. oh, okay, let me open it up. Yeah, that's, uh, before I got in there, I was going to okay. I'm just going to knock it out real quick, it shouldn't be too much. What do you think, laptop? Uh, I'm looking for the paper, I'm looking for paper, more checks.
Let them rock out of Got the trunk open for you too. Yeah, I'll get it. It shouldn't take you that long. That was a big scratch. I know, man. I don't mess around anymore. sheet of paper there, man. Some people scratch them. Some when the sectors and the state banners come in, the scratches were there like that big, but it was like a piece of chicken. Yeah. Oh, they were so big the
agency oh. but it's the same amount 600 bucks so we got more victims I don't think he's 21 yet you want to put this in the truck Or what? Yes, under this passenger seat. Passenger seat. Oh, this is. Boy, she's using Evelyn's name for everything. That's her face. Yeah. Evelyn Delgado. What's that? Oh, that's a work ID. That's a uh, Costco. Costco. Oh. Yes. She, uh, if she doesn't care. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she used that paper. I don't think they'll, they'll scrutinize it. Especially with everybody now wearing masks. Yep. It's like, yeah, I'm here. Take that as evidence right here too. Costco. It came from that wallet, right? Yeah. Then yeah. this picture of the face, if you want to get that face in. Just that by itself. Okay. Uh, I don't know if she wanted this wallet or not. Take a picture of that, that's in her real name. I think she wanted this. I think she wanted that, her wallet. Let me look in the back. I'm gonna go this down. Yep. I think we're good. I think we're set. Let's use it all.
Okay, I think we're there. Okay. Can I see a lot of quick? Thank you. And you want that drill folder over there? I think that's the one she said she wanted. I'm going to ask her real quick. Just need to get pictures of this thing so I can do a warrant on this thing later. Numbers, yeah. They look like a count number, yeah. They look like a count number. 43, 9, that's got to be in El Paso. East Missouri, 7990, 1440. That's a route, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, it's a routing number, count number, another routing number, B of A. See? It's all here, and now she's just got to make the paper. Oh, you should print it. She you didn't go anywhere, anywhere, bro. No, but is she, does she uh, make them in the car, or is she... she or she could take it, and then she could, she could just go to, like, uh... So she's just bringing them at random places? Yeah, just go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Let me see, hold on, before you close it. Move the... No. The serial okay. number on the back? Yeah, I got that. Okay. Right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that way I can. Yeah. Graciela, which, uh, which uh, wallet did you want? Is it that black one that you want? No, with uh, the ID and it's a few bucks. That's the one you want. Okay. You want to take that backpack with you? You want to just leave it in the car? Okay. So uh, go with her. Behind you. Okay, uh, we're pretty much done. I appreciate your cooperation, but okay, I got your phone number, right? So if I need to reach out to you or contact you, I can always come back with uh, and dispute, give you a holler, okay? All right, give me just one more second. Just stand over here for just a minute. Okay, we got your black wall. Is there anything else you want from the car? And it's okay one last time for your son to take the car. Okay, so he's gonna go ahead and take it, and I guess we're set. I can't take my charger. Huh? Pardon me? I can take my phone charger. No, I don't. No, I'll just I'll let you use the phone there, okay? So, I guess we're done. I'll give him the car, and we'll be headed back. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Come on out. Come on out. Get it on the back. Yeah, the key's on top, man, okay? You, how old are you, man? 20? 21. You got your license, I gave it back yeah, yeah, to you, right? Yeah. Okay, buddy. All right. Hold on, give her a phone. Oh, she might give you some more property. Yeah, I appreciate you being straight, man. That goes a long way. And talk to your mom, man. Get her. I know things are rough and shit, and you got a little one, but... But, man, this hurts a lot of people, man. It hurts a lot of people, man. I'd rather see her fly straight than be looking like this, you know what I mean? Even if it's not not that much money. So, it's, not, it's not worth it, man. You just got done. So you got charged with forgery. Um, altered or forged or fictitious license. And...
lost your head, Daddy. Well, they call the jail to make sure they get you there. Yes, who am I speaking with? This is Transfer House from Wheeling. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, I got a, a female I'm going to be bringing over here for the next, you know, next 10 minutes or so. I just want to make sure she gets a dinner tray. Okay. So I'll, it, I'll be leaving the station in about 10 minutes, so she'll be there in about 20. Do you want to finish your Gatorade before we go? Can't take it with you, so... Take us about 10 minutes to get there. <laughs> face the wall, or actually face me, I'll get those cups over. 